they doing today? Whoa, let's get music down a little bit. <laughs> Hello, Rika. Welcome. Hello, Lightbringer. Thank you for joining earlier, Lightbringer. Thank you so much. It is very appreciated. Welcome to the channel. Um, are you just playing Genshin? Are you just sorry about? I am just playing Genshin today. Um, yeah, just Genshin today. Ages are gonna be is gonna be later in the week, I think. Um, hello, Winter. Welcome. Um. Let's see, give me a quick second to boost. Yeah, but it should just be Genshin today. Um, just get a little bit of gain going here. Yeah, so it's just Genshin today. Um, because we're talking um you know there's there's a lot there's a lot going and i need i want to get this out of the way before i even touch um Penicone. so yeah just notice you have memberships yeah i do thank you for doing that will you do cloud retainer probably that's probably gonna be most of what i do today Yeah, that's that's probably a lot of what I'll be doing today is the cloud retainer quest. You know what I'll actually do? Filters. Plug interface. Bring you back down to what it was. But I'll just give straight like regular as gain. because I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, that's that's probably what I'll, what I'll end up doing is just um it's just the quest. So hopefully that sounds better. Hopefully I'm not as quiet, I'm a little louder. Um but yeah, yeah, I'll just be doing the uh the what's his face. I'll just be doing I'll probably be doing Shenyun's quest. I'll probably be doing I'm going to explore a lot of Chen Yu Vale. I'm going to take a lot of time to explore Chen Yu Vale, but... Hello, Yugi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um... I can't fucking wait for Petaconi. I can't either. And, like, I... So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to wait a couple of days. Um... Granny Under A posted? What the fuck? Really? No way. Uh, okay. But, um... Yeah, like, it sucks, because I also want to do Penicone, um, like, day one, but I also want to, um, I also kind of just want to give people time to play it, so I have to kind of wait a second. <laughs> oh my god. Will you be playing? Yes, I will. It'll just be a little, it'll just be a couple of days after um, it comes out, just so people have like a chance to play it. Um, I will. I will probably, to be completely honest, I will probably be like completely absent from any social media, including Discord, for a day or two until I stream, just to give myself time. I'm thinking Thursday is where I'm at right now. Um, that's that's where I'm thinking I'm gonna. That's when I'm gonna play it. Maybe Thursday or Friday, one of the two. Because it comes out for me. It comes out like like I want to say it comes out Tuesday night, Wednesday morning for me. So Thursday, Friday, depending, is probably going to be enough time for people to play it. Which is going to be really hard for me because I will really, really, really badly want to play the game. 
the the amount of self control I'm gonna have to have in order to not just speed run Penicunny like right away. It's gonna be really tough. Okay, so um, what I want to do? Let's get switched over. Actually, before I do that, settings. Get audio up. Okay. Hello, Maria. Welcome. Hundred percent Panacone day one. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be tempting. It'll be tempting for me not to just speedrun Panacone like day one. It'll. It'll be really tough. Why is my brother messaging me? Okay. Hello, Carl. Welcome, welcome. Wall game, figure out what's going on. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Um, Play the beginner's guide and watch your video about today. Love the game itself. It really, really helps tie everything together for me. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that game. Um, it really is one of my favorites. So, for me, it's coming out 5 a.m. on Tuesday. I'm winning here because my schedule. That is actually incredible. Um, so it might be, it might be coming out Tuesday night for me then. So Thursday, I would. I should probably double check. So first things first. I'm gonna just nab um the statues of the seven and then we're gonna go for there congrats to 10k thank you so much that was a weird thing that happened this week <laughs> okay yeah so i'm gonna nab the statues of the seven um i might throw a 10 pull or two at xianyun just not for xianyun but for ga uh, for gumming um what am I at for pity is my question. 15, 20, 20, 25. But I am on guarantee, so. Ah. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, no, I get a free gaming anyways. OK, so I can I can keep sa saving for Arlequina. Never mind. Whoa, frames. Yeah, I get, I get, um, what's his face? We, we get a free gumming anyways, so. Yeah, I might, I might as well pick up the free one and just kind of keep my jades. Not my jades. Primo gems. That's what this game is. Um, yeah, keep the primo gems. And then. Yeah, save for Arlequina. Cause you bet you bet your ass I'm You bet your ass I'm going for that Arlequina. Coming. I'm I'm very curious about you. I lost 50-50, so I'm just gonna continue saving for the Pyro Archon. That's also fair. I'm like I I think I'm gonna run I'm gonna get Arlequino. She's gonna she's gonna is she gonna be playable? I hope. I hope. <laughs> I fucking hope. Um I fucking hope there are talks, but I, do you know, that's it. Um, got my Archon collection. Yeah, yeah, like, the theory right now is 4.6, or like, you know, but, um, because Chiori is next patch. So... That'll be enough, like, I'll have enough time to save for her, and then after that, it's probably just going to be, it's just going to be, um, uh, what's his face? She has a vision. Yeah, and th that's why most people are thinking that she is playable, is just because she has a vision on her model. Um, oh yeah, the girl boss, um, yeah. Is she, is she already a five star? I'd assume she's a five star. There's no reason for her to be a four star. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think she's a five star. Which honestly, like, I've seen a couple of people say like, "Oh, she looks like a four star," but I kind of like that. The fact that she isn't like her her design is a little bit more like it's not tamer, but you know. I assume she's a four star in conjunction with Chloron's banner, but we're not getting Chloron because she didn't get drip marketed. <laughs> it's it's only it's only Chiori. That is that is all that we get next patch is Chiori. I'm I'm assuming Chloron is four point four, four point five? I don't know. Hello, I'm in welcome. Panicony cutscenes got elites. Oop, okay, good to know. So maybe I should like I was saying I should be off off of Twitter like after Pentacody comes out. I might I should probably just get off Twitter now. Um Hi Washing, welcome. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, it's scary over there. Holy fuck lightning. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Everything about a Chiodi is already leaked. I, I'm not surprised that like kit leaks and shit are already out. Oh yeah, these things. Imagine leaking lore content. I know, I don't understand that. I don't like it when people do that. Kits, I completely, like that makes sense to leak. Kits completely make sense to leak, right? Kits and characters because people will. There's no, no in-game sounds. L, am I a, gr a really good streamer? Um. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. Properties. Why aren't you finding Genshin? Hmm. Properties. Okay, will this work then? No. Come on, one capture audio. Um, okay, hold on. We'll do something else. So much scuff, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, because now YouTube isn't getting a clean signal. Excuse me. My computer has been very slow this morning. So, sorry about that. Okay, so you. There it is. Y'all should hear that now.
Yeah, I've been streaming for years. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I'm... Um, we're good. I hope that YouTube is just lying to me when it's saying that it's not getting a clean signal. Um... Okay, let's go to Chen Yu Vale. What? Oh, okay, I thought... I didn't expect this to happen. Oh, is this the world quest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome. One name's is, one's name is Fujin, the local adeptus, and this is the tiny little teapot realm one calls home for now. Get carp napped. <laughs> <laughs> no exploration for you. I just wanted to I just wanted to grab the statues of the seven like I always do that's literally that, that's literally the first thing I do whenever we get a new region is I always just grab the statues of the seven and I don't think I've ever been able to just do that like <laughs> we're still here in the mountains just now how do we suddenly end up one invited you to come as guests yet failed to sufficiently explain beforehand such behavior was careless and one begs for your forgiveness Sam was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Fuji, let me go. Uh, um, what does my nickname mean? In, um, it's uh, Xiao Jing, which is a uh, little whale in, in Chinese. Um, there's a teleport in Chinese Vale that automatically unlocks. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Stunlocked by Fuji. I feel like I'm playing League. <laughs> I, I really do be playing Ko against Cassante right now. Um, like eight tracks. Paimon was just not sure this conversation counts as an or that this counts as an invitation. That's all. So do you just swoosh all over all visitors to Chenyuville in here like this? Okay. You want to bring out your Gaiwan or your teacup? I I already made a, um, a couple of brews in my Gaiwan, so I might I might just grab another. I might make another one. We'll we'll see. Um, of course not. Many come from come and go from Chen Yu Vale, and it's only in light of your incredible capability with the local spirit veins that I chose to invite the two of you, Xiao Jing and Paimon. Your names would carry were carried here by the fish that swim. I have long anticipated your visit. It is a pity that it is now, now not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to a tea-tasting banquet. Speaking of which, I am quite sorry, but I have a request to make of you. Uh, Remember how we all just wanted to go to Super City? We got stuck with a 20-hour long, 20-hour long quest. Yeah, that seems to happen more often than not nowadays. Ooh, I should make. Oh, I should make a cup of. I should. I should make some Yunnan gold. Maybe. Maybe in a bit. Um, please speak. Thank you. I presume the two of you have heard of the tea village of Chen Yu Vale, Chao Ying Village. This village has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. The people are of gentle character, and the pristine pebbles in its streams are exquisite. Why is she so ethereal? I don't fucking know. Carp, fish. The R and R was fun, but so long. I, I still, uh, <laughs> I still haven't finished R and R. That's my, that's my sin. I honestly don't think I'll ever finish R and R. Um, I hear a butt coming. She's a f fish that rival rivals the court. Yeah. Precisely, the waters and soil of Chen Yu Vale have begun to change recently, as has the scent of its tea. Chao Ying Village has inevitably, will inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes that you, you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountains, but my power is no longer sufficient, nor is the present a good time for me to move about. Thus, I must rely on your kindness and aid. 
I'll do this quest real quick 20 hours later. Still doing it. Yeah, I, re I remember when people, like, when people just, it started to dawn on people that Arunara was so long. Like, I remember Twitter being so, like, I am still going. How is this quest not over yet? <laughs> uh, we aren't exactly experts when it comes to dealing with soil and water. Is there a problem that Xia Jing and can just solve by resorting to gratuitous violence? Paimon, okay, sure. <laughs> can we just, like, kill something and then call it good? Just as I heard, you are quite direct. But fret not, you are clever by nature. I trust that you shall get to the heart of any problems you might encounter. I'm still not quite getting it. <laughs> Though one travels the world, if all is understood, then it would still be boring. Though I like to say that, this matter and I... Well, let us just say that I shouldn't mislead you with superficial statements. My apologies. r, &R is a fun quest, not gonna lie, I loved it. Uh, yeah, but also I'm just... Yeah, it's painfully long, and like, I... W w the fact that, like, it is that long just kind of leaves me in a... In a state where, like... I should do it, I want to do it, but like, I can't get myself to do it. Well then, allow me to share some of the adeptal energy dwelling in the mortal world with you, Xiao Jing, to aid you in traversing the landscape and piercing the fog. Oh, right. Um, it's nice to meet you. Huh? Uh, I mean, welcome to this place. That is to say, welcome to Chen Yu Vale. I'm an MMO player, I love long quests. I, yes, but also I, it was just kind of, like I, long quests have their place. It's just, yeah. Nerdsis and Croix is heavy in lore like R&R, &R, but the pacing was 10 times better. Yeah, but even then, like I just kind of watch Ashikai's recap <laughs> of Nerdsis and Croix. Uh, thanks, though we really are just passing through. I'm really sorry, but I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face, and was rather hoping you two would be ma ma magnanimous enough to forgive the imp imp impropriety. Whoa, words! Okay. Is it old von Ara? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's still blank on my map. Um, words. Okay. But I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face, and was rather hoping you two would be magnanimous enough to forgive the impropriety. Yes, now that you have been in, indwelt with my adeptal energy, Xiao Jing, things will become much more convenient. Now, please try the word wanders of said energy for yourself. Um, you may glimpse I <laughs> just Hu Tao was just looking at me. <laughs> Some reason Gitchen wasn't updating properly, so I had to install and reinstall. I guess I want you four hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sometimes that just happens. Okay, so you may glimpse wondrous pearls of water scattered in the wilds of Chen Yu Vale that have absorbed errant adeptal energy and now float. Use the adeptal energy granted by Fujin to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and enter them. Once you're inside the pearls of the water, you can go anywhere you please, and it can hold the jump button to leave vertically. Okay, sure. Also, the Pentaconi is 35. It is, is it actually that big? Holy shit. I thought the... I, didn't even, I, didn't, I thought it was like 15, 20. I thought that's what it said for the pre-download. I got like halfway... like. No, legit, I was like halfway done with the pre-download. Download resources, 16. Yeah, no, Hikaru, it, it still is only 16... 16 gigabytes, it's just it needs 35 gigabytes to, like, unpack shit. It's not gonna take up 35 gigabytes of disk space, it just needs the extra space so to, like, move stuff around. <coughs> oh, fuck. Not gonna lie, this, this traveling mechanism is gonna be one of my favorites. I am, yeah, interesting. Um, with ease, just like golden carp fish in Legends of Yore. 
One client, two clients. I don't think I can update it just so all this game three is mood. Fucking mood. See you, Golden. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hell yes. This is the second time my phone has had memory issues, and it won't be the last. <laughs> Get fucked. I switched to becoming a mobile player for Star Rail. Do you have the... Okay, well, here, here's my thing, Hikaru. How the fuck does your phone have more storage? Then... <laughs> How does your phone have more storage than your laptop? Okay, so... How are we doing this? Kaying, I'm going to put that away. I'm just going to navigate to you. This is arguably the It's it's just so much Ar Arhu. I love the Arhu. It's so good. It's so pretty. There's a thing though. It's so like it's so ethereal. A peculiar stone carving. Use the adaptable energy granted by Fujin to move these heavy looking stone carvings with ease. Okay, so it's pretty much as zeal is. I've done the world quest? I it has I haven't opened this game. Um This is my first time seeing anything in this place. The music is so fucking pretty though. Jackpot. Wow, that was a lot in that chest. Okay, so if I go this way. Oh, that's cool. Also, yeah, this, th that music is fucking gorgeous. I love that. Please use the boat in a bit. Well, first things first, Rika. I need to just, I, I will let Look at goat. I all yes, goat. 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 Goat can be captured. That's a th that's a thing that exists. I forgot the ubiquity net is a thing that you can use. <laughs> it is the Coco Goat, you're right! Remember when killing these things with Pyro would like just fucking murder you instantly from the burn damage? I remember the days. I use it all the time because of Teapot Grinder. I am most definitely not that. Yeah. Okay, I am trying my best not to get distracted. And I'm going straight for the teleporter. I'm going straight for the statue. How many like smaller ones are there? Well, they're not bad. 
Okay. So annoying that they haven't increased the teapot world limit. I've never understood why the, the load limit is so fucking small. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna blitz through commissions, aren't I? I love that. And I wonder if the goat knows Ganya. <laughs> Who tell? Ma'am? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you climbing? This is a, this is a slope that you should be climbing right now. There are so many goats. Holy shit, I love the goats. They are so numerous. <laughs> Can you veil in the numerous goats? Okay, these are not friendly. These guys are not friendly. I... let me grab... Go. You first. Boop. And then... let's hear... Th let's hear the battle music. I also like how it's just so fucking dark. You say this place is goaded? Oh my god. What is my it with my chat and just really shitty puns? Oh no, it's just regularly the way that music. Okay, I'm run. Lame. I was I was expecting new muse, new battle music, but it's just new at battle music. Hmm. Would have gotten you the Chenyu Veil. I wouldn't be surprised to be completely honest. Lunar Finn. Sean Wen Beast. Oh. I love I love these names. We're back in Liyue, y'all. It, it makes me very excited that we're we're fucking back in Liyue. We get like the the cool names, and it's all it's all fun. G new tutorial. Shinlin beast illuminated beast that dwells deep within the use elemental reactions to freeze this creature and use shatter melt and other. Or you could just beat it like I did. You know. <laughs> I played Dear Esther recently. I'm excited for your video about it. Cause I, yeah, um, <laughs> I, I'm convinced nobody knows what the fuck happened to Dear Esther. And that's why I want to make a video about it is because it is... So, the re a main reason why I want to make a video about Dear Esther is because um, a while ago... <laughs> I found an archived blog page from the Chinese room, um, the developers of the game. It was, they posted a bunch of notes With the wind. Um, for the translators. Um, and so there's a bunch of really cool insights about how the game was written and like, uh, like interpretations of a lot of passages. Um, I was like, that is really cool. So that's kind of part of the reason why I want to make a video on it. Um, wait, there's a special way to beat this giant. Yeah, I, exactly. I like, I just, I just beat one up and then I was like, oh yeah, no, there, here's a special, hello? Why is there a hole there? But yeah, like, like it, it was like, oh yeah, there's this, there's this funny, like funny way of. Last World's Quest. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. That makes the ditto sized hole. I love the ditto memes. It is so funny because it very much is. It's <laughs> it's so ditto shaped. <laughs> right, yeah, it pretty much is. Um it so <clears throat> the the walking simulator genre existed um for a while beforehand, but Dear Esther really kind of took it to what we know it is now um yeah it kind of it kind of made it what it is now and po very much popularized the genre um because like like stanley parable came out before it um but you know dear esther is kind of what made the genre incredibly well known and 
contentious. Death Stranding, yeah. Hey, Death Stranding is cool. I'm excited for DS2. Um, I love Kojima as much as that makes me sound incredibly pretentious. I do enjoy a Kojima. You know, it's whatever. What do you got? There's just a fucking teapot. What is this thing? Okay, here's what we'll do. I have, I bet you any money. Shenyun mats, yeah. I, oh, I forgot how pretty. Look at how pretty they look in, in the Leo screen. Okay, uh, where is Zhongli? What shall we do? I'm lazy. Clearwater Jade. Huh. Neat. Anyways, bye, Ju. Come back. Hopefully, this won't take. God, the music is so gorgeous. Holy shit. Oh, wow. And here you are. Holy fuck. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the wrong way. We're going to just explicitly go the wrong way to Yulong Wharf. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> We're gonna take the we're taking the scenic route, y'all. We're taking the scenic route to uh, to Yulong Wharf. Really suspicious how Yeah, I they're they're definitely they're definitely gonna loop back and retouch Monstat. They they have to, right? They have to go back and retouch up or add a new area. Hi Gong you, I found your dinner. Um Words of a cope or no definitely I, I don't i don't think it's cope i think it just like they kind of have to um just because we we do know like there are supposedly um like from top from like books and stuff and dialogue from the game we know that there's another region of um of monstat that we have yet to see but you know for some Monstat being Monstat, it like we haven't gotten it yet for one reason or another. Um which alone makes yeah, the whole port. Um Which you know just makes Monstat that much more <laughs> sus. Um Or the Dandelion Sea. That is up to interpretation. Like, they, they very much, like, we, we do know that the, right. um, we do know that the port exists, and it's reasonable to assume that we're going to get it. When it comes to Dandelion C, me, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, exactly. We don't even know if it's real. So that, that's kind of why I'm saying it's a it's it's very up to interpretation. <laughs> Freeing a big damage. Yeah, no, I like in my free does very like meh. Like she doesn't even have like it, th this is this is her timepiece. Like it's not good. My Farina is not good, but she's still busted because she's Farina and she is like a fucking insane. Isn't the Hexen, Hexen Circle heavily connected to Mondstadt? There, yes. Um. Yeah, pretty much. What weapon, weapon? Yeah, I do have signature. Oh, okay. We all we. I should say my Farina is 
meh in her artifact build. She does have best in slot, and she may or may not be C2. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> Foodie Freddy goes crazy. I forgot you had C2. Yeah, I do have C2. <laughs> so we... <laughs> I may or may not like Hello? really like Farina. I'm just saying. Hello? Go crazy. Iron door. We don't say thanks for such big favors. Oh, well, you're pretty. I'm still mad I lost 50-50 to Farina with Chi-Chi. L. I mean, I think I lost a 50-50 with Farina. I don't recall. I, all I know is I got incredibly lucky with her. Like, I... I think I, I put, like, a hundred bucks to her. Um, You haven't played the... No, Talon, I, I am telling you, this is my first time touching the game since it updated. I don't spend a lot, a lot, okay? I'm not that bad. I just got very, I got very lucky with a hundred bucks. A hundred, I had a hundred bucks to spare. I put that all into Farina and then I got C2 and her best in slot. And that's kind of, you know, things happen, right? <laughs> got pretty lucky too. I saved around 180 pulls, got her in 40. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah th this is what happens when you take the scenic route. Um, <laughs> it's a long wharf. Oh, there's a chest down there. C2 Jane, I hate you. See what? I, yeah, I don't know. I know I, I did recently get another D loot. So my D loot is a C3. Treasure coffin. And I was like, once I got him, I was like, <laughs> I ain't touching this banner again. I am going. I, I ain't touching shit until um until Arlequina comes out. God, I wish I got your D loot. I. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like my 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 standard um my standard five star luck is at oh, uh, I did not expect that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just gonna be hop away from this. And I just get launched. Like, okay, um, you know, my standard five star luck is actually pretty decent because I mostly just get dilute. Um, I I got like an a year or so. I got like a year and a half to two years in before I even got Chi Chi. So it was mostly just like a D Luke. <laughs> yeah. Shanyun looks like gimmick gene to me. Pilot Purcell. Yeah, I'm I'm also skipping Shanyun. I mean she's cool, but I also feel you know, I've I have my eyes set on other people. I do I do know that Shanyun is actually a really solid unit. Yeah, I, I do know that Shenyun is a really What's solid, um, a really solid unit. But why did Chiji become the meme? Because she's not good. Like that's that's really it. She's just not good. Actually, I think the only standard I don't have now is Dia. Don't think I have Dia. I don't have Dia. I don't have Dia. Yeah, that's the only standard I don't have. Yeah, and her name is f is funny because it translates to seven seven. <laughs> Hi, Long Wharf. Yeah, before yeah, before Dia, she was 
the worst. And there's still an argument to be made. So many of these things to get. This is a very, like, it usually, like, with, with new regions, I'm, like, excited and, like, ready to go and, like, reared up. But for some reason, something about Chen Yu Vale is just making me very, like, making me very chill. I'm very, I'm very chill. I'm enjoying it. I don't do that. Okay, that's too high. Ooh, green. Yeah, by Baiju. It I hate it because like Baiju is the only man in this team, but he always makes me feel bad whenever I play with him. Like, cause I'll, yeah, you know, he's he's a dude. He's the only guy on my team that could be hot. But like, <laughs> whenever I pull him out to be hot, it makes me feel bad because he's gonna cough and like hack a lung out. <laughs> It makes me very. It, 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 he makes me feel bad. I, what I'm saying is, Baiju guilt trips me, and that's not cool. I like <laughs> Chaoying Village is this way. Okay, let's get these teleport waypoints in Elong Wharf, and then snake our way back down to Chaoying. We're taking the incredibly scenic route to Chaoyang, okay? Look at this. God, this is pretty. The UST is certainly delicious, but it takes too much work to... But you learns new attack lung cancer, yeah. I'm just... There's like a pavilion up there. So much Arhu. Ah, I am kind of in bliss right now. <laughs> this is why Liyue is still my favorite region. Okay, I'm just saying. This is the only- this is- this is exactly why Liyue is still my favorite region to this day. It might still be a, it might be a little bit dated, right? It, it definitely is a little bit dated, especially main, like mainland Liyue, but it's just this vibe that makes it my, my favorite, my favorite region. It's still my favorite region. Look at how pretty it looks at night. Yeah, and the fog down there, all that. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that, Hikaru. Damn. God, this is a gorgeous area. Can they add fog to Natlan? I hope. You know, but like I have my doubts that Natline will be like pretty, right? Cause like we we got we got um you know we we got we got Sumeru, which the jungle was pretty, the desert it depends on the kind of person you are. Um, Fontaine is a very gorgeous region. We're getting you know Chen Yu Vale, which is. You know, this. Like, unmatched, I think, so far. And just how stunning it is visually. And then... We're getting Natlan. Which... I don't... I like... It'll look good, but I don't know if it'll be, like, conventionally pretty like this stuff is. Oh, yeah, fuck you. you. You you've been spoiled with all of your pretty regions. We're going to Chernobyl next. We're get, we're going to desolation. 
All I remember is Nathalan has hot springs. It does have hot springs. Um, but also, like, to be fair, Gara, that's all we know, really. <laughs> we know that the Marriage of Ari is there, and it has hot springs, and that's like it. It's a- I have been saying that, Oz, since fucking 2020. I've been saying that for so long, since 2021, 20, uh, four, almost fucking four years here. I have been saying that for so long that it's really weird that they're gatekeeping this shit. God, it's almost been four years. We're, we're, we're approaching four years of Genshin this year, which is so weird. But yeah, I've been saying that for so long that they're just... They won't give us Nathland lore. So, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll look good. Like, it'll it'll be a it'll be a good looking region. I don't doubt that. But y something can look good while also not looking pretty or like beautiful or whatever. What the fuck am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> Splendid. More interesting trinkets for me. Yes, Farina. Pyro Traveler will change the meta. I hope. Fucking damn. Well, okay. Well, what's interesting is I'm kind of hoping. Um, I, I'm hoping that Pyro Traveler is going to be a straight up DPS. Which way am I supposed to be going? Down. Yep. This way to <laughs> Chaoyang. Give the traveler a good kit. I like. I. I just. I just want. I want a DPS. I want one DPS kit, right? And that would make so much sense for a pyro traveler. Cause like you know, um, um, what is it? Like, Dendro traveler is one of, is really good. Like Dendro traveler is really solid. Hydra Traveler sucks ass, but it's still a support class. It's it's still a support traveler. I just want DPS. I just want a DPS traveler. I want to see Ether fuck shit up, and I want him to be good too. <laughs> I want him to be actually solid. Yeah, Hydra Traveler is not great. Cause like there's even there's even a use for Geo Traveler. And Animal Traveler is solid. It exists. I need to go talk to Catherine later. Imagine if Pyro Archon is long dead. And the Gnosis is just kind of up for grabs. That would be a really interesting thing. That's kind of... That's kind of how shards um, work in the Stormlight Archives. Or in in the Cosmere, not just the Stormlight Archives. Um, they just kind of float around until somebody, like, takes them. I should probably... So for anybody that doesn't know how the Cosmere works, gods are pretty much made um, by these <laughs> things of shard called Shards of Adel Nalsam. Um And so in order to become a, a god, you have to become a vessel for one of these shards. Um... But when the vessel is killed, the shard doesn't go away. You actually have to, like, the shard will just keep existing unless you actually shatter the shard. Um, so, like, right now, a couple of shards are just kind of floating around, and nobody is taking them yet because their vessel was killed. Nobody has claimed them. And th th that would be kind of neat if that's how the Hydronosis was. It's just like, Murata died, but like, nobody's been there to retake the Gnosis. <laughs> like, Walt Trials and Cedaquana? Sure. Traveler's been mediocre. And like, I I I'm not, so I'm not surprised that they keep the Traveler mediocre. Right. 
Like, I kind of expect that. Right? I'm not expecting... And I'm definitely not expecting, like, Hu Tao levels of busted pyro DPS from Pyro, pyro Traveler. I just want... I just want him to be... I... You know? Don't worry, the Gnosis belongs to Shangling. <laughs> yeah, what if Guoba yeah. just has it? <laughs> What if, oh, yeah, what if Guoba just has the high, the pyronosis and just never told anybody? <laughs> that would be really funny. Like, Yanfe at least. Yeah, it, it's just like... The only people that know where the pyronosis is, is Guoba, Shangling, and Yanfe. That's it. Shangling already has Guoba. But what if Guoba does have the thing? Why is the fountain here? Is there another? Oh... That makes a lot of sense. Guoba cooked the pyronesses. <laughs> he, he was like, we're out of coal. I have this thing that's really hot. I wonder. Throws in the oven. Cool. It's just, that's just their, that's just how they cook things now. A bit pyro? I don't think so. I have, I have hope that Pyro Traveler is going to be at least somewhat decent as like a carry dps because you kind of have to yeah. think right like completely free to play With the wind. like starting off you don't really have a great option for like hyper carry style dps so i don't know like i like to imagine like long sword from um yeah. Longsword from Monster Hunter kind of style, like bullshit. <laughs> There's a thing. What's tell? What is it's telling me? Something is here. Chinming Tea Works. Yeah, Dendro Traveler is pretty decent, actually. People, people will um, like regularly beat Floor Twelve with Dendro Traveler. Can I get tea? Chenyu Adepti. I love that. <gasps> There's so much tea. And they're roasting it, and it's so cool. I love this. Here comes the tea, the bees. I'm thinking which, um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think like which, uh, which, which tea do I want to make now? <laughs> Cause I have a number. I might make, I might just make my Yunnan gold. I'm... Stop yelling at me, I'll get to it. No puer. My... So, my puer is, um, very dusty now. I need to get more. Um... Yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of crumbled. I'm actually, so my, um, my like tea, my Chinese tea place, they sell like mini puar cakes, right? Um, that are like 20 bucks, which is pretty good. Um, considering like full, uh, full on puar cakes are like $120 or whatever the fuck. Um, like mini, mini, um, Many of those mini tea cakes are like 20 bucks. I'm like, that's actually a pretty decent amount of tea um, in those mini tea cakes. So I, I've been tempted on multiple on multiple occasions to get one of the mini tea cakes. Because they also have um, they also do tea, mini tea cakes for like um, uh, for white tea for ancient white teas. 
but yeah no i'm so what i'm what i'm ex what i was expecting right it honestly kind of surprises me that fontaine's gimmick was um it, it straight up surprises me that fontaine's gimmick was hp scaling because if anything i expected um I expected, or like logically in my mind, Natlan would be the one that uses HP scaling, right? Like hurt yourself to do more damage, because that's always that's always kind of the thing. But like that's when it, whenever you think of like characters that hurt themselves to do more damage, you're thinking either like necromancy. Or like barbarians, like blood, like blood rage, right? Like the um, one client, like two fucking, clients, you know, three clients. There's an example that's on the top tip of my tongue, but I can't name it. So like, yeah, it it, it sounds like really good for the Nat Client style, and like, but no, it's not. It it because what, what's really interesting to me is. Genshin's idea, like, at least the, this, like, the Western idea of doing damage, like, the Western idea of, like, in video games of losing health is very barbaric and very, you know, cut yourself and bleed onto your weapon and make it, like, make it do more damage and rah, and that kind of stuff. But with Genshin, it's much more, like... It's much more, um... Oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? <laughs> um... Elegant. Right? Like, losing health is much more elegant. With, like, Hu Tao. Hu Tao losing health and doing more damage when she's below half health, she's in between life and death. She's in a state where she's, like, closer to death than she is life. Wanna so, like... She does more damage there, and it's super elegant. With Farina, she's losing her health to, um, to buff the rest of her enemies. Yeah, and like if for like for, I'm thinking Blade. Yeah, exactly, Talon. With when I when I traditionally think of lose health, do more damage, I think about Blade. But Genshin makes it much more elegant in that way. So I expect Natlan to be that the the um, Blade style of edgy you know stab yourself in the hand and then like draw sigils with blood and whatever the fuck um but no genshin is much more yeah it's just elegant like it's finally you're here is something the matter Oh, are you young master? Are you the son of the Fei in Commerce Guild's manager? No, nope, that's Xing Chao. You you got the wrong person. <laughs> ah, um, no. Oh my! So you aren't the Commerce Guild's young master. Ah, uh, my apologies. I was considering only your wondrously fashionable attire and. Your flying companion. Your conduct, too, was so unlike ours that I assume that you must have come from Liyue Harbor to discuss matters with us. Lu, I am surnamed, and all in the village call me Grandpa Lu. I apologize. I'm, I must recent years have not been kind. Why, why do you talk like Yoda sometimes? Apologize, I must. R apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I can't do a Yoda voice. I suck at Yoda. Um, <laughs> recent years have not been kind. I have not even the tea to treat you to as guests. Uh, the adept I will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. He, he does speak like Yoda sometimes. It's really funny. Uh, Grandpa Lou, the stuff right by you, aren't those tea leaves? The quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the Feiyun Commerce Guild, for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers, after all. Maybe Natlan will- Yeah, that's- that's a, um... 
Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Is the Talking Sticks passive is one of the most unique passives in the game right now. So like, that's that's the only lead we really have. Is that, you know, it's self-applying elements. Did you see how that one... Yeah, well, because they fucking removed the... <laughs> they removed the chapters from the manga. It's not on the website anymore. But also, yeah, um, part of me is thinking that it's just ret them retconning. Um, it might be them just retconning stuff. Which makes a lot of sense. Bro, why? Probably because their art direction and writing changed a little bit. Because you have to think, right? The <laughs> You have to think that the comic, the manga came out before the game came out. And since the manga is a relic of um, a storytelling style that Hoyo has long since left behind, the whole they don't want to tell stories through um through anything other than in-game stuff anymore um you know it makes sense that they there isn't there's still probably stuff in the manga that they don't that isn't internally canon anymore so they were like we should probably take this down before we actually get into natland stuff and start talking about like yeah so we don't have Contradictions. Bronzilla Kiss, you will forever live on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, you have to like the Bronzilla Kiss is still there. If you if you read um Azure Waters in like in the Western world, it's still there. It's just kind of, it got yoinked out of the Chinese version of the comic, because you know. I have heard tell that the young master of the Commerce Guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I thought he would come in person. Or if not, send someone here. So, here I wait. Canon lesbians, they're still canon because they're still in the western version of the comic. HSR Himiko is too important to die. Himiko's the only one who fully knows. I mean, there is Pom Pom. I would expect Pom Pom also knows. But yeah, true. That's a good point. Is it possible that Himiko might not even exist in Genshin? It's very possible because literally nobody else exists in the game. It would be weird to make the only character that exists in Genshin be Murata of all people like uh, be Himiko of all people like nobody else exists in the game so you know lived here my whole life and worked with tea just Fujin even among locals few remember <laughs> we didn't hear a tale we met her but you know it's it's fine Many, many years ago, Chaoying Village was nothing but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt there, and it was all thanks to Adeptus Fujin that the demons were defeated, and tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come live here. But if it's really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Well, ex that's exactly what we've been asked to come investigate. Does that mean you believe me? Yeah, I believe you. Obviously. Zilla is the one missing Harbinger we don't have the name of. Ah. I, I will say, I won't be surprised if the missing Harbinger is a, is a Sealy, but I don't think it's Zilla. Um, no, so how, from what I've gathered, um, like from what I've gathered, if you are a, if you are a Hersher at any point, then 
there is like a lingering like you're still you even if you give up your the authority and like give it to somebody else like Walt did, you still have that power. That's just how that works. It just kind of lingers there. It's not nearly as much as it was before, but you're you know, you're still gonna be a fucking very powerful being. Venti called the Tsaritsa Branya in a very old beta. I wouldn't think anything of that. Just because it's a very old beta. It's not in the game anymore for a reason. Young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the Feiyun Commerce Guild when you are meeting with old Luo? Lao Luo. Village Chief Luo is a, is a good person, but how to put this? He puts more trust in the machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before, and we parted in bad terms. But if it was the young master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild... I guess I'll give it a try? Plus, I doubt Walt would let a second Himiko die again. I mean... Who knows? Maybe... maybe. <laughs> Maybe he fucks up. I don't know. Destiny's a weird thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't worry. Even if so, Hu Tao relative. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh no. He says, "I uh, yeah." It's another Hu Tao. In in one day, in in generations past, this man was just a fucking another Hu Tao. Um. Okay. So that's that you okay so we got that started should i start shenyan quest i'm getting a bunch of pings discord stop it stop it Silly churl, Billy It's like two hours and thirty. Hmm. I got time. Let's okay, so here's what we'll do. Go to Leo Harbor. I'm going to turn it with Catherine, and I'm gonna start the quest. I've only been streaming for like an hour and twenty, so might as well. Add Astro. Oh, Catherine. Thank you for completing to. Add Astra. Add Astra Ambassadorsk. Claim all. This is a thing you could do. Always oh, forget about that. Okay. We've got you. Shen Yun is such a well-built character, like we've known her for years, and the way they the way they work, all that lore is just nice. Okay, I'm excited. I, I am excited for this. Um I am very excited for this. Let's do it. Hello, Shen Yun. I still need to, I just need to catch up on quest. Unlock. Except quest. Allons-y. That's the wrong. That's the wrong one. It's wrong language. That meant too bad. We've been to so many places lately. What do you say we take a day off from adventuring and just find somewhere nice to relax? You don't say. Let Paimon think. Where are some nice places we could go? Oh, why don't we pay Cloud Retainer to visit a Mount Outsong? It's been a while since we last saw that illuminated bird. She's always the one popping up out of nowhere and scaring us half to death. So let's surprise her this time. IPC hates two things, poor people and heterosexuality. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Won't stick around too long and have a complete request. All right. Well, thank you for popping in. Uh, thank you for popping in so much, Lightbringer.
be so real except for hitting on the poor. Yeah. <laughs> the buy PC. I love that. Probably must seem more tame now. Eh, she probably does. It's been a second since I've been here. Is Black Swan the only one? We're also getting, um... We're getting Black Swan... And... Sparkle and Misha. Yeah, that's right. Player feedback working? What do you mean? Billy! My roommate's cat is yelling. <laughs> Yeah, Sparkle and, uh... Paimon is way, way more tolerable and fun. Yeah, but... I don't know. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything! She definitely does remind me of 1.0 Paimon. I, I wonder. Huh. That's interesting. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to... Squash Liyue Harbor. Oh, players. Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta get it. Along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? Wow, it's, uh... Don't think we've ever seen her before. Land right starting on the 5th? Yeah, because Chinese New Year is next week, I think. Yeah, because I have to fucking... I have to do a... I... We have a song that we have to sing for a grade in my Chinese class for Chinese New Year this Friday. That's gonna be fun. Um... You know, I, I honestly don't hate the Paimon. Like, sometimes it can... I hate her writing. Singer well? No, I, I can't sing for shit. It's just... Last year is just making us do that. I was like, okay, sure. Oh, fucking okay. As long as... No, it's a... It's a, um, it's a folk song. That we have to do. Um, You know, I, I don't hate how Paimon is voiced. I... I, I kind of enjoy how Karina does Paimon, but it I my problem with Paimon is in her writing. You know, she was a dick to Farina. And you can't you just can't do that, right? You like I will like if you're mean to Farina, I'm going to be mean back to you. Whoa. What a pretty lady. <laughs> is she also here to visit Cloud Retina? What a pretty look! Thanks, five one. Um, seems like she, she she could also be a powerful adeptus. Yeah, I'm learning Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look, and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of adepti friends from all over the country. Okay, but. If we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Is the localization problem? I definitely think, yeah. At least part of it's probably a localization problem. Hey, you're such a social butterfly, Paimon. I'll leave the introductions to you. Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. Paimon's got this. <laughs> um, hello. Hello, Kira. Welcome. Mm. I like how you still have a vision. Um, Paimon is Paimon. <laughs> um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. You two. <laughs> What is this tomfoolery? 
Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? <laughs> Wait, you're... Cloud or Tanner? Huh? You're the illuminated bird? But you look... human! How did that happen? <laughs> Her yapping has started, oh no. Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. So, uh, you're indulging now because? Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form. <gasps> oh, for such she's a gonna, she's gonna to make check on Ganyu. She's gonna check on Ganyu just to make sure her girlfriend is is up to par, is up to standards, you know. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning, or... <laughs> okay, so that's... That's a weird line, because that implies... <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. So, canonically, three years have passed since we started, at the least. So it's been at least a year. I would assume it's been at least three years. <clears throat> Feels like Cloud Retainer has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? <laughs> Shut oh. up, I mean. So you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. You know, when she's a bird, she when she's not a bird, um, she's easier to read. Well, like <laughs> this is all Paimon's guy. You don't mind, right? How did the drama about pull? I don't fucking know, Lordis. I like I equate it to World War One. Just tensions had been building for a while, and then Zyox just tweeted that one thing, and now it's this. <laughs> one has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contary, it is the gesture that one values above all. We kind of funny if she still had the echo. So she does. She, she does have that, doesn't she? I forgot that she had the reverb. The gift is but a trivial matter. I completely forgot that. Um, that she had reverb in her bird form. That would be so funny if she was still just like a fucking like... <laughs> that would be awesome. He's supposed to give up for millionaires to like go up. Yeah, I know. What did Zyax tweet? He tweeted one thing about Atsu and Tectone. Or like... I don't know. It, it, was, it, was like a, it was a meme. It was a dumbass meme about Tectone and somebody else. I forget who. And it just started a fucking war, and now it's yeah, it's wild. Kind of makes Paimon. It was Dora, yeah, it was Dora. Keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? Yeah, that's that's where that's where all the drama started. That that was the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, pretty much. Um. Yeah. Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. I want to go Maybe see them. I yeah, it's been a minute, and their costumes are very pretty. One plan to extend the invitation, even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shanha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company. No reason in particular. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form oh, while no. we were at it? Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna be fucking embarrassing Ganyu more. Hmm. Poor baby. Is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at UA High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Likely yes, still. Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> Like she would ever change, like move. Like she would ever <sighs> choose another job. Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one tell in the number of times she returns to Mount Outsong each year. 
Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. What a d awful da daughter, damn. <laughs> they think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. It also doesn't help that Ganyu has a girlfriend, I'm just saying. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. Maybe Shen can actually eat a proper meal. Yeah. She's not impoverished anymore. That isn't grass and herbs. Yeah, crazy. Shen Yun is be full mama bird. Exactly. Well, she, she literally. <laughs> she needs to make sure that her daughters are doing great. She's concerned because they won't text her. They won't text her. They won't, like, they won't call her. Like, she's getting concerned. She needs to check up on them. Make sure they're eating fine. Yeah. You know, the usual. I will be streaming Panacone. Don't worry. Don't yeah. fucking worry. I will definitely be streaming Panacone. Um, it, I'm thinking Thursday, probably. Um... I have a lecture that ends at 4.45. So it'll be a later stream, but I will definitely be playing Panacone. Where am I going? You are high. I know how to get there. Just cause I, I, I know, I know. Ooh. All right, good luck, Chrissy. Thank you for popping in. Um, yeah, because I, I know, I know, um, wow, the bloom is fucking, I do not, I did not remember the bloom being this strong in Yuahai. But yeah, so I, um, <laughs> what the, why is it so bright here? What the fuck? Chill. Also, should probably just drop stuff, anyways. Um, crowd density. Yeah. One. That's still really bright. <laughs> We're almost at Wei High Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? Oh, about the Pentecone stream? Rip. Yeah. I mean, we, if you really want, you can, uh, like the VOD will be up and all that stuff. I'll definitely also record Pentecone. Um, I don't know if I'll make it into a video, but I'll definitely record it. Guess we have no idea if Shenha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, uh wait, where did she go? <laughs> Literally opening Twitter on light mode, yep. Uh, she's back there. Will we be doing Panacone? Oh, oh, a story. I'll definitely be doing story. Don't worry. <laughs> and that, that's why I'm probably, that's why I'm going to wait until like Thursday is to give people time to do the story on their own before I do it. Because I know a lot of people will be wanting to do Benagoni, um, and we'll want to be doing it spoiler free. So, if I speak from the story again, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely be doing, probably doing a similar thing. Or like, I, I, I want, I want to do it like the day it comes out, but I'm gonna have to like force myself to not, just because I like, you know, I, I, I want people, I want to like, and I want to give people time before they watch me play it. So, can't wait to see Why Adventurine. Are you standing there, Cloud Retainer? Quietly now. 
One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. Oh, she knows her daughter. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. She's such a good mama. I love her so much. She is she's such a she's a mothering mother. That's all she is. Fair enough. Makes sense. Alright then, we'll just pass on your regards and Cloud retainer? Oh shit. <laughs> Covers blown. Scram. <laughs> <laughs> This is literally what she does. Cover your... <laughs> it's the metal. It's the Metal Gear Solid sound. <laughs> Just ex huh? Oh, busted. <laughs> is Scram. that lady someone you know, Miss Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although. Perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements. No, not Psycho way. Mantis. Like, just the, the, the generic... The generic um, Metal Gear Solid... Like, the Metal, Metal Gear getting spotted sound. Thank you, Huixin. There we go. Should search up Shanyun about the, 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 the on, visions. Ganyu. I was going to look up her voice lines here in a bit. Greetings. What brings you here today? If I forget, cloud retainer too. remind me. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, the exclamation point sound. Yeah, don't let me forget to look up, uh, Shady Lines. You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this <laughs> You're cloud such a goofy person. Speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, cloud retainer, <laughs> chill. <laughs> Huh? Seems she's not buying it. Ganyu saw right through her. Um, that was but a simple test. She's, she's... One did not expect oh you to God. be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. Anyone notice how workaholism is a big problem to you that? I honestly feel like that's just kind of... You know, that's because it's coming from China, but you know. Yeah. Because, like, that's seen as, seen as, like, something to adore, and it's, like, good and not unhealthy. But I will say, Shen Yin is, like, I love that. She, that's so base. Like, I don't want her to see me, so she doesn't put all of her work off for, like, tonight, you know? I want her to actually sleep. Gani looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt ops. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. Bullshit. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. You wanted to go see her. Be honest with yourself. Cloud retainer. Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just be honest with her, Shenyun. Just be honest with your daughter. Cloud Retainer's right. We've still got some... Oh, is that so? But it's been so long since she's we last so saw each other. She's so disappointed in the third... The, yeah, the third hand embarrassments. <laughs> uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Ah, <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now respected and independent 
when you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. <laughs> Here comes the embarrassment. Got you have time for lantern, right? Yeah. C Cloud retainer. If you insist. We are running short on time. I love regardless. baby gun you. Baby gun you makes me so happy. Story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. Okay. Wow. You've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at UA High Pavilion. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? Is it just me, or does... Does Gany have said a little stuffed up? <laughs> did, did, did Jennifer Lowe you record this like a little bit with like a little cold? A human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent Yeah, okay, of I'm not- I'm not going crazy. Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. You really think so? I- not that you're not famous or anything, but... that famous? <laughs> She's a god, Paimon. <laughs> you presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun? Ah, oh, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of Adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Oh, that's neat. That's that's actually really neat. I'm going to choose... My name is going to choose... Like, my name is going to come from a work that literally is about me. But it isn't just my name. <laughs> So you're really that powerful? And what of it? <laughs> Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of what bigger of than it? average size? Uh, bigger than average size? Yeah, you're definitely bigger than average. Uh, not exactly. Oh, let me guess. You're a fan of their early work. And what of it? Uh... To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. Shenyun is related to Big Bird Yeah. The past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. I think Paimon forgets Shenyu literally made the weapons used. Yeah, Shenyu or Paimon forgets a lot of things apparently. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about <laughs> it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. Okay, I'm sorry, chat. But so I opened my I opened Discord. Um, <laughs> so I opened Discord because I have a bunch of pings and I'm clearing them because I'm weird and I don't like having pings. Um, and I I, <laughs> I opened it to my brother who who messaged me. Omg whale! I am edgy. <laughs> He got a new monitor, and so that's what he's referring to. But that was a wild thing to read. I was not expecting that. Um, okay. On top of the drought, a noxious Sorry. gas also began to oh. spread through the land. 
If not for cloud From my brother, lizards, no less, too. Much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought... That's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, that feels very... Like, you know, it, it feels very... Um... Like, is this the same natural disaster that was... Talked about with Golba, or is it completely different? Like, what causes Lua to be, like, the center of all of these natural disasters? But even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so it was... Uh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. In that case, Paimon will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment. Well, that is quite enough ancient Mother, history for mommy. now. Mother, mommy, no. <laughs> Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? <laughs> is she being exploited, is the thing. Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? Better. That is a lot of questions. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. There is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. Wanmin Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> She's literally a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it works. I see. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Xiangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the Vittles of Noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person and see how Shenhe is doing. Huh? But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? Shh, we can get to that later. Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? <laughs> you may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Do any character get your characters even have mothers? Where are they? I don't know. Like, yeah, we saw Cookie's mom. Huto has a grandfather, which implies having a mother, but we've never seen a mother. Um, we've we've never seen Mama Who. We've never seen. I mean. Yeah, no, uh, like, yeah, we know, we know Jean's father. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. See you around, Ganyu! <sighs> Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? Okay, yeah, let's look up. Now's as good as good time as any. Two. Let me pull these up. Shenyun voice lines. And then we can switch over. We not die we not die on his dad. It's a we, we know a lot of dads, which is interesting. Since I have no intention on pulling her, might as well.
Display capture. That? Sweet. Okay, so the big one is going to be about the vision. I do also want to listen to about Ganha Ganya Shenha. <gasps> She has a voice line about Hu Tao. Okay, first of all, is gonna be visions. You should be able to hear this. You can't. Why? Properties, because I have this. There we go. Okay. Rex Lapis once said that a vision is a call to duty, to act as a guardian watching over humankind, and that whether okay. we choose to withdraw into the mountains or embrace the clamor of the city, we must never shirk that duty. Now the age of humankind is upon us, but one will continue to cherish this duty long into the future. Okay. <laughs> To act as a guardian watching over humankind. That still doesn't make sense, though. Yeah, that, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Just because, like, y you know... Guardian over humankind... One, Guardian from what? And two, like, why? Zhongli did- that was- that was, um, Shogun. That was right in Shogun. Zhong- yeah, I, from what I remember, right, right in Shogun said that, um, that stuff. Yeah, also Zhongli isn't the most reliable source. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that. Well, cause like, okay, let me double check this actually. Oh no, that yeah, that was like giving, yeah, Shogun said that she didn't know where visions came from. Visions are also a type of contract. You should know that all power comes at a price. For every bit of power you gain, so too do you gain more responsibility. Oh. Where does he say that he doesn't know? Maybe it's a maybe it's a quest. But okay. Yeah, they are very secretive, and he also ha is, like, under a very strict NDA by Celestia, so it doesn't surprise me that he doesn't say things. Okay, I want to listen to these two. One once asked Ganyu what she typically works on during her overtime hours. Her response was filled with hideous-sounding words, such as meeting minutes, summaries, Annual reports, financial projections. Hm. Were she not of chilling blood, and had one not taught to her the secrets of cultivating health, this avalanche of bureaucratic writ would have surely overwhelmed her. When you see her next, would you check that she's been drinking her Qingxin infusion of clear sight on a daily basis? <laughs> Bruh. Okay. What is a thousand million miles? Probably like a really old one. Okay. That young lady says the most bizarre sounding things. Yet she appears to be rather highly regarded by the staff of the Wangshong funeral parlor. <sighs> Even Rex Lapis himself saw fit to serve under her in some sort of consultancy capacity. <sighs> Allegedly, she is similarly peculiar when it comes to her taste in food. One must admit, one finds eccentrics like her rather intriguing. 
<laughs> me and you both. <laughs> me and you both, Yan Yan. Kaching. Kaching is a thoughtful child. She visits me on behalf of the Qi Xing every festival without fail, and always brings a gift. With such a capable and considerate colleague by her side, perhaps one needn't worry too much about Gan Yu. <laughs> Mama approves! Mama approves of Gan Xing! Okay, anyways. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Who else is interesting? When Rex Lapis first heard of one's plan to take up residence in Liyue Harbor, he recited a long and detailed list of considerations for the furnishing and adornment of a home. Natural lighting, ventilation, bespoke woodwork, procuring porcelain, placement of plants and flowers. Oh, one's mind felt ready to explode from the deluge of information. Do all facets of life in the human world take so much effort? She's such a yapper. She really is. It's really funny. I didn't know we could look at this shit. Like, I honestly didn't know that we would be we would ever get more yapping than fucking Farina. But here we are. Like, look at this shit. This is insane. Okay, stories. What are all the stories? So we've got Jade Void. Legend has it the place where the Adeptus resides is known as their Jade Void. The Adeptal abodes tucked away among the peaks of Jue and Karst are such places. The word Jade Void originates from a spot among the clouds high above Chingan Peak, which overlooks the world below. It's a place that has rarely been seen by mortal eyes. Jade refers to the foundations of this place, which was made from a single piece of plastrate, hence why it floats above the clouds. The true way is found in emptiness, and thus can be attained by traversing the void. Okay. So I feel hungry. Okay. This is... Whoa, this is long. Okay. Um, the Adepti of Leah were born amongst the elemental energy that courses between heaven and earth. Okay. As pure elemental beings, they are closer to the origin of ultimate truth than ordinary mortals. Ultimate truth. That feels like a familiar term. Okay. For Shen Yin, channeling elemental power is something that can be done almost subconsciously. She requires the aid of no external focus to do so, let alone a vision. Oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense as to what a vision actually fucking is. Um, but now that she's walking the mortal realm in human form, following human rules somehow seems oddly appropriate. To her, using a vision as a medium to harness elemental power couldn't be easier, so why not? Shen Yin certainly does not value the vision that she wears on her arm, in the same way that a mortal would, but carrying it with her led to a discovery. One time, she was passing through Dihua Marsh, she came upon a farmer. Despite the fact that he was tall and carried a hoe, he was trembling and immobilized with fear in the face of a pair of short, feeble-looking bandits, who were threatening him with daggers. But the vision is a power boost? That's not what I'm thinking. I... I'm thinking the, the vision is just redundant. It, it, it literally does nothing. It's just another way of channeling the same power. What I'm getting is the fact that visions are a way to channel power from the ultimate truths, quote unquote. Right? Elemental energy that courses between heaven and earth, the ultimate truth. So what I'm thinking, I've always wondered, right? Why is, why are they called visions? I've always wondered why they're called visions. Um, and this makes a lot of sense, vision as in 
be able to see the ultimate truth. It was like a lens to, you know, whatever. Um, using a vision as a medium to harness elemental. It's just, it's just like, it's just like a lens pretty much um, that pulls out and can see and uses elemental energy, like a specific type of elemental energy. Um, but Shen Yun doesn't, like, it, it doesn't do anything. She has a vision, it's just she doesn't do anything with it. Same same deal with Zhongli and, and Venti. They just have a vision. And... We're the only fungi and whopper flowers are non-elemental beings able to use elemental power. I mean, they are elemental beings. That's the entire point. They're just not as, like, elemental as... They're much more rudimentary, I, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Are those two? Yeah, they're, they're still wearing fake ones, but it, it's a similar deal. It's just she happens to have an actual vision, but she doesn't need it. All flowers aren't, according to Albedo. Fuck, I should, I should know my Albedo lore, but apparently not. Um... Turned to speak to him, he saw her vision and immediately took her for a chivalrous hero instead. His tone and posture changed in the blink of an eye, and after bidding her to bidding her join him in driving off the bandits, he charged straight at them. In the end, the hoe brandishing farmer single handedly repelled the two thieves, with Xian Yun merely knocking a dagger out of one of their hands. Yet looking at the shining vision on her arm, the farmer kept exclaiming how much he wished he had one. Of course, the farmer didn't need a vision, all he really needed was a little courage. But she saw the effect that the vision had on him, and how his expression changed so completely it was almost as if it had become another person. The profound influence that an external object could exert upon a person became apparent in that instant. For a time, this left her feeling puzzled. Though it may be true that everything in this world possesses its own objective characteristics, but changing how you act towards a person because of an external object, surely that was folly in almost all cases. Known for her candor, she has always been easily moved to commend or scorn, but her judgment was always based on essence rather than appearance. When people are friendly to her, she treats them kindly back. When they're vile, she all she has for them is her contempt. This is how she is when she's Cloud Retainer, so it's how she'll be as the chivalrous hero Shen Yin too. Open your eyes and take a look around. I didn't lift a finger. Since you can rely on your own skill to drive away your enemies, you should show some more confidence shen yun said had said her piece so with a flick of her sleeve she was off with heroism she cleanses the world below and with wisdom imparts the law of nature to this day shen yun walks with the mortal realm still poised and ineffective unaffected huh neat i will read the rest of that later um that feels like a lot interesting 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 um, you. Yeah. <laughs> Small mention, but yeah, Yakshas, let's go. Okay, real quick, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go get a, little, a bite to eat. Um... I'm going to get a bite to eat and get some tea going. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Give me a second.
I mean, I would assume they did that assuming it was you know reproduction but it was literally just them praying at the fountain must be wild for people not reading chat to hear that <laughs> like what if they didn't pray then they didn't get a child and that's how that worked yeah There's a there's a lot of musks. It's fine. That sounds awful. That sounds terrible. I I'm never saying that ever again. Um <laughs> Okay. While I make tea. Silly churl, Billy Churl, silly Billy Hilly Churl. And I come back to this. Don't worry about it, Phantom. Um we're fine. No, okay. in yeah. fact, it was not an excuse. Mm. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Huh. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious Adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? What do you think about Albedo's line about gold after knowing Zhongli's title? Ah. Wait, which line about gold? You get what I'm saying, right? All right, so you get Phantom. Thank you for popping in. Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, eh? <laughs> They're ogling a shin oh, I'm players. far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Did you know that without human manipulation, you would need to harness the power of the sun eight times? size of our own in order to naturally create gold. I don't see where the connection is with that line. Oh, no glass enough. True. You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. <laughs> what can I get for you today? Uh, uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... That ass. What would you like to order? Using a vision to harness elements. As far as common folk are concerned, this is no small feat. I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing, to be completely honest. Like, I don't... Using a vision to harness elements. As far as the common folk are concerned, this is no small feat. I guess that can imply that he didn't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it. <laughs> She's such an abba yeah. queen. I love her. Two servings of more meat to go. Uh Welcome. 
It's been a while. May I take your order? <laughs> no, welcome Mom? us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. It's been a while, Shahab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and this is? Uh, She's... this is Miss Xinyun. Master? <laughs> huh? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain I'm running low on your mingle. This is with such ease. annoying. I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <gasps> you. <gasps> oh, she's so proud. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter we and go. came to check on your well-being. And check out the great dig for field. getting a Indeed. clump of leaves. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> still on the clock. Well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon, are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Make sure you're back by like 12.30. <laughs> We're good. The precious gasp. I know, I love her. Oh. Bagel. Where are we going? Oh, this way. <laughs> sure. <sighs> it is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? <laughs> Are you calling her antisocial, like socially it's been incapable? So far. Come on, Mom. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. <laughs> Be an asshole. Like you've been making progress. So by Be an unbothered queen. With them, you mean being First, I tried queen. to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten <laughs> them with violence. At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. <laughs> Straight up, she's like, I will hurt you. <laughs> How should Paimon put this? She, she straight up is like, I will hurt you if you keep flirting with me, so I would not. I can't argue with the results. Exactly! Oh, a sensible plan. One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. I, mean, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would be it's resorting to the threat of violence because violence is definitely not above Shenha. Like, you know. <laughs> and you, Master? How have you been? Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Yeah, if it works, it works. Just as expected of Master. Hmm. Hmm. What she means to say is she actually misses the two of you a lot. She loves her daughters and she misses them. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Aww. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need this to keep so one in suspense. This is so cute. Oh my god. Well, her mood shot up just like that. By the way, she's so Master, lovely. since she's, you are in Liyue she Harbor, loves her daughters. have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Uh, indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. She's so precious. She's so precious. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Oh? Uh oh. <laughs> Is that a problem, Master? 
I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no uh, matter, okay. please uh, proceed. Uh, One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being yeah, able to so. use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. Huh, what kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? Oh, an electro-powered bicycle? Oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flash Mobile. One spent 49 <laughs> days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, bro made the Batmobile. That's that's a very Shen Yun kind Alas, of thing to do. The one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across this the This is just stretch. an episode of Critical Role. <laughs> Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenha. Master, that was the end of that story. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? Yeah, I mean, she's gotta have, have hobbies. Have lonely, Master? Lonely? <laughs> <laughs> At one's age, entire just human say yes. Shen Yun, just say yes. Just say yes. Of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. She's lonely. Yeah, she's lonely. What is the reason? She for that needs look like a face? mahjong club or something. Like. It's nothing. It's just. Well. She needs. She needs like a, a bingo night or something. You after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. Like, get her like, a joy luck club or something. Was a few words out of your mouth. And it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. I was just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered. She ended with the lies and deflection. While the other yeah. is the master that I respect and adore. She's so old, but she's not like one she hasn't learned how to be emotionally again, available. With sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refused if only to grace Jung was a pile of dust. For any that would totally, that would totally be something Gui Jung would do. Gui Jung would be the. the sincerity of your estimations. Gui Jung would totally be the one in like the in the girlfriend group. I was like, we should have, not like weekly mahjong nights, and. We like we make a bunch of food and we have tea and you know we like we put actual money on the table and it's just like she would be the one that would come up with the joy luck club. That's like that's all that's what I'm thinking. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. A shoe all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. You know, how she said that, it kind of flows like a fucking Dr. Seuss rhyme. <laughs> I shoe all actions and abide by no rules. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Like, it, that, that flows... That flows like a Dr. Seuss rhyme, but without, like, the rhyme. And, you know... Big, big words, but you know, it's whatever. She got like, what, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her <laughs> ego is about to burst. They'd be like your typical uh, Asian auntie. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Do you have any empty tables? Hey there, could we get another 
your fish stew? I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, Shen, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll try my best. Let's go! Chop soy! <gasps> food I should get. Mm, I am going to get some batsa tonight. That's what I'm gonna eat. That's gonna be my dinner. One is fond of all the dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Why wow, she just she just fucking invents like hot pockets. <laughs> Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? You sound familiar. But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. We've got we've we've got plenty of space, y'all. Excuse me, would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so. Well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? Sound very familiar. I don't mind either. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Granny? Granny. <laughs> this is gonna be an old off. They're they're gonna they're gonna be an old person off. Yep. Is there something wrong with that? Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. The fuck, Paimon? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. A cloud retainer? <laughs> <laughs> she recognizes her. Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh. Have we met before? No. Tis a fated meeting, then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want... braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. <laughs> she has no, dementia. No, not this again! Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Makes me sad. earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Can't hurt to ask. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking too. I... need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory is getting worse. Oh, no, straight up, no! Whoa, well, holy shit! I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? I straight up did not expect them to just say it's dementia. You know, usually with things like this, Genshin's like, oh yeah, she has poor... I, I, I actually was expecting them to be like, oh yeah, she just has poor memory, she's getting old. No, it's just straight up, straight up, she has pretty bad dementia. Holy shit! <laughs> That's actually really cool. <laughs> wow. Fuck. Okay. Wow. I love that. Holy shit. This will make it very hard for me to play, but, you know, 
That's really cool. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Shit, okay. <laughs> Fuck! I don't- I don't do good with dementia stories. I- I do not do good with dementia stories. Arr. Oh, um... Uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow, you're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> you're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? Oh, she still has a sense of humor, though. <laughs> you're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle, and you're always there for me. It's adorable. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Okay. Huh? That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. <laughs> oh, it's fucking terrifying. It's fucking terrifying. Especially, like, and the reason, that, like, because I've had to see it. I've, I've seen it happen. And that's part of the reason why I, I, like, I'm not very good with dementia stories, but also that's kind of, kind of why I love that they straight up just called it what it was and just straight up said it was dementia. Because that's that's just, that's really cool. That's really really cool. Ah, uh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times, but just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? <laughs> what a leap in logic to make there, Paimon. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Are you sure? Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? Is, hmm. Am I not an expert? <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> I love that. Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, <laughs> do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. <laughs> A younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Oh yeah, that that's something we haven't shared yet. Paimon's Paimon. I'm Xiaojing. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Your company is plenty enough. We're just curious about your situation and want to help if we can. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, don't, please don't worry about it, Shuyu. You, you do not need to worry about paying a shit. <laughs> Do to help out 
this ready. All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. I hmm. wish that was that Sounds simple. Like <laughs> so, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain streams. Okay, taking that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my god. I might have an idea. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. Bruh? So she's a girl boss? We literally know a god can enter minds. Do we? Oh yeah, I guess. Nahida can. I'm not sure about anybody else though. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. Yeah, watch. Well, she's just straight up like Yende is just literally just like a fucking like local legend. A martial arts heroine. Hmm. Oh, Shinto knows tons about Liwa's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. Strongly can. Fuck. This is. <laughs> Forget all the things about this game sometimes. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. But also, this is, um, Shenyin. And not Zhongli, so. Yeah. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while Yuan Dai and Shu Yu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Streetward Rambler? Oh, you mean Madame Ping! Be great to have Nadia Nahida here save us about two hours. The fucking <laughs> No, that's my name. That's my nickname, Yuki. That's my name in uh in in, uh, what's his face? Is judging. One more key. I have this, um, I have this really freaking delicious black tea. Um, it's called Yunnan Gold. It is... It's probably one of my favorite teas that I have right now. It's so good. Um, it's like caramely, almost. It, it, it tastes like caramel. Or it has like a caramel note to it. It's really smooth and so fucking good. Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Also, fucking, um, what, what was it? Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. NPC's hairpin. I, yeah, that hairpin is very pretty. I like it. Um, okay. What am I doing? But yeah, this, this tea is really, f it's so smooth. Um, it's probably one of my favorites I found from my tea shop. They love English breakfast. Um, there is, you can actually buy the, um, the straight up, like the, uh, the red tea that English breakfast comes from. Um, like the, the base tea that English breakfast comes from, and it's actually um, really smooth and subtle. I can't wait to see my adorable um, Cause you know, English breakfast, it, they add that they blend other teas in there to make it a little bit more bitter, um, just for that British palate. But 
Um, I, for I forget what it's called. Um, I forget what the tea is called. But you can get the the base red tea that they make English breakfast out of, and it's it's apparently I haven't had it before, but apparently it's really fucking good. Do they you smell, smell the tea? Yeah, they do. Um, usually, I don't I don't go a whole lot off of the smell, um, because the smell of unbrewed leaves is not very indicative of the taste, but um. It is fun to just kind of smell good smelling things. Huh. It's you two. What brings you here? Hi, Xingqiao. Xingqiao! Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. Explain the situation to Xingqiao. Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. Well, that's fine. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Nameless heroine? That's right. Can I just say, Xing Chou is kind of like of what would happen if Don Quixote wasn't ago. delusional. As like... the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well matched in more ways than one. Often fighting I hate together as a outfit. fearsome duo of otherworldly yeah, strength. Yeah, the boy shirts are a little After weird. The ended, I've I've always I've always the thought the boy shirts are just a little strange. And began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. The way this nameless heroine I mean, faded from his, fame into obscurity later his in life outfit is not too dissimilar a little from better. Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiao. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. When you have that one Just autistic friend. I, came while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiao, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu, Wangshu Inn, Jane Karst, the Tinyan area Peak. just north of Jue Yun Karst. That's so adeptus coded. <laughs> Perhaps the real life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Thanks so much, Xingqiao. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. Hayo indirectly telling us Xing Chou. I mean, I would agree if the concept of Hydro Archon was still a thing that made sense. It doesn't anymore, so you know. He's just he's just copying Farina. Okay? He's just you know how a lot of fashion will be dictated by what famous people are wearing. That's what happens here. Sing Show just like, oh, this, this, you know, she's doing this one thing. The super famous person from Fontaine is doing the one thing. I'm going to copy that because I, I, yeah, I can pull it off. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But... No one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. I've never understood why someone would go worldwide, such yes. lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover- That's a deal. Perhaps. Behind the truth of it all. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Xingqiu. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, 
Wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Yeah, it's just Sanya. Or, yeah. Oh, right. There's a drill in this story, too. Um, Chincho. Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. Lenny is the worst in the Twink Outfit Department. You didn't have to do them like that. More natural disasters? Maybe, maybe Leo is just a, you know, in like an arid climate. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. Talk about Lenny that way and you'll be the next one in the magic box. Exactly. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to- That sounds up. Yeah, and that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Even the disasters like China and Leo. Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, no, I, I did not realize that. It's just, this is just China. Like, I don't, <laughs> this is just what China, Chinese agriculture is. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, Disasters Someone did a good cosplay on Lenny, and I wonder if the twink vibe with that outfit Only is strong. Of a I wonder why. <laughs> I still can't get over that one tweet that was like, you know, Lynette should have. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it on stream. I can't say it on stream. <laughs> Never mind. I. Y you know, it's okay. Do you have any other questions? Never mind. I'm not going. I'm not going to say that. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Shenyun and the Paimon hopes that Granny Yu and I will be able to remember more of her past. I feel like she used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you some other time, Shenyun. It's no problem at all. I feel like just saying the name Shenyun around Singcho <laughs> is like riskier than it should be. Right, like, if you say the if you say the name Shanyan, he's gonna know the reference. He's gonna he's gonna identify the reference. <laughs> Let's go see Madame Ping. I have recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not Ping. Ping, what has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence. Nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Has felt its effects while dwelling at Mount Outsong. Okay, so winds of time. Or weaker on that song? It's really goofy seeing Ping with the NPC mod. It is. It's a little interesting. I wonder if if Madame Ping is ever playable, will she get like an upgraded, like her true form, or will she like pick just another form? I would love a playable Madame Ping. That would be so fun. Oh. Why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. 
Approximately how much Mora would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Club retainer, Madame Ping! Uh, what are you two talking about? No. <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful? Yeah, details? she's just a playable can't be seen, Grandma. She has a theory, but let's save it for when two you and Miss and I have joined up with us again. She wants to live with where the people are. She wants to be where the people are. Oh no, she's so adorable. I feel very bad for Ganyu and Shenhua, but you know, that's that's their problem. Like, I want to live where my daughters live, so I can bug them constantly. <laughs> also, Ping would be a porn. Yes, she would. Ugh, God. Shenna and Gani will never be hearing the end of it. Yeah, I know. Hmm. She's so Don't precious. Be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Huh. According to the story, the nameless oh, no. heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Oh no! Kenha. Oh no! Keep Maybe. keep an eye on her, please. That's my grandpa. Madam Ping, please keep an eye on her. Please. 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 Hey. That makes me nervous, the fact that she's just walking away. I don't have many memories of him, but there is this one time I found a box in her attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Seems like the stories were on the right track. I think so too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains, thoroughly one with nature, and that So it makes sense if she was the exorcist. So, then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Let's rest here for a little while then. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? You sure? Sure thing. What would you... Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. Hello, Angelique. Welcome in. Let's go over this way. Fuck you mean neighborhood. It's you a high pavilion. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Shuyu? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. But are you guys all adepti in disguise? Oh! We're not uh, all about that. I'll give you one guess. <laughs> I'll give you one guess as to who it is. Well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Shu Yu here what you really meant by that. <sighs> One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? Huh? I knew it. <laughs> you adepto boink. Oh my god. What are you fucking up to? Oh my god. I'm trying to pay attention to the story, and y'all are like, I look back at chat, and the, the last message is fucking adepto boink. Oh my god. Yeah, first five minutes in Leo, she's already exposed. Yeah, no, she's... Whew. The form change, I can... Oh my god. <laughs> Ganyu and Yanfei. I mean... 
I wonder how the DNA works for that shit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can send me a friend request. I don't know if I'll get to it. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crate. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed, and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? Hmm. A pure I wonder. illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Well, she just like fell off the crane. That was Never really has funny. Never met an adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first. Okay, I'll go get Granny. Ah, yes. Let's just go to Wang Shu Inn, which is like a day's trek from here. Get the old dementia-ridden woman to walk across the fucking country. You know, as you do. Oh, yeah, I forgot Baiju does that. I was like, why am I regaining? Oh, yeah, Baiju. Cloud Retainer, please carry her. <laughs> I love the image of just, of a, like a, a raggedy band of, you know, of travelers and a small girl. What, and just one of them is carrying an old woman on their back. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's I've always I've always found that funny. Wang Shu In, Wang Shu In. Yep, that's where you are. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious, and if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. I'll come with. Hyman's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Ma'am, that Wait. is a wall that you're huh? looking at. Xiao jump scare. I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Oh yeah, Shen Yun. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause yeah, for this. Yeah, Xiao. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. Is the bird left behind by shout? No, it's just, it's a little more literal. There's just always a bird that's kind of lagging behind its flock. Like, yeah. At least that's how I interpreted it. I'll see six years soon, Boogie. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just fucking something for the dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I just I just love the white man jump scare. I just like I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Shit, what? Okay. Oh wow! What was she like during the war? Oh wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? Behold. The glory.
story of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. <laughs> An impressive imitation. <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. Even so, <laughs> that was good. Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils Spot is just on. as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. Great, great work. Cloud Retainer who barely yeah. talks? I can't picture it. But what happened after that? I like how Xiao is just so like... in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Guys... Have you ever heard of PTSD? Chill. She is very clearly uncomfortable with the conversation. You should like step back. I'm just saying you should probably be a little bit more considerate of her feelings of the situation. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? Shenyun was on revenge mode? Yeah, exactly. When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... She was at the best of social cues? I would expect Paimon to be too. But, you know. It one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Oh, okay. So she's embarrassed about what happened 30 years ago. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then... At this place, I... Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. She's should embarrassed. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Bye-bye, Xiao. Please appear in Lantern Right. I'm hoping to. I'm so excited for Lantern Right, dude. I am so excited. Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh, so what Shinto said was true! You did fall- I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but, but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. Elazar, no. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying. But I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. <laughs> Look at that mustache. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that mustache is incredible. Dude, the big hat, the mustache. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood. This mustache is so goofy. It's so goofy. Symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So the dementia you're suffering from now Wait, is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? Going heavy with the tea this patch? I am not arguing with that, to be completely honest. And it was all thanks to I the fucking pills love tea. that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember? I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, oh, 
If only I wasn't so useless. Don't say that, Yandai. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Can't wait. I can't wait to release a Shao Lantern. That's that's my, that's my favorite part of Lantern right every year is is getting to do a Shao Lantern. I I think it's so cool that I just have those. I don't I really hope. I actually kind of hope we don't get another Shao Lantern crafting event. I I think it's really cool. No, I I think it's cool that we get them once and then like I'm I have to run off of this supply that I crafted all the way back in 20 like 2021. Right? <laughs> I think that's cool. Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. Premium supply? Exactly. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior. Might even to have now? I, ha I have like 30 or something. Next location. Next location. Oh, why don't we go to there? Isn't really after all. If she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap. Let's check how many I have. I still have a bit of bear traps. I never forgot. I forgot about those. I have 37. <laughs> Can be crafted at a crafting bench. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm keeping it I'm keeping it to once a year. So theoretically, I have thirty-seven years worth of shell lanterns. You'll only have you'll only last thirty-seven more lanterns. Exactly, I have thirty-seven years worth of lantern rights. Right, that's that's fine. That's fine. I but I, I do have the hunting traps, so I'm 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 gold. I'm good. We're set. Yeah, I love how outdated this is. Like, they should at least, like, obtain during Lantern Rite 2021 or whatever. Alright, you don't have the treat? now. I don't. <laughs> so, I have so many fucking Tetra Sigils. <laughs> Boring. Shut up, Rena. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't do? mean that. Yes, we're, we're going. We're going. We're going. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't I haven't done Ara and Ara enough to get the get all the sigils, so or to use the sigils. The bear traps is so old. Yeah, and they are old they are 2020 bear traps too. They are proper old school bear traps. Yeah, they're 1.0 bear traps. There's no difference. It's just I got them back in 1.0, so you know. Yeah, I did. I did see that. I saw that you could see that you get the uh, second black iron sword, which I think I still think I have. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. swords. Is it three star? It's a three star. I could have sworn it was somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, it's a three star? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Ripper Rooney. Is it getting a new one? Yeah, I should probably lock it too. Because I, you know what probably happened? I got it before locking weapons was a thing. And so I probably just fed it into another weapon. Whoa, why are there so many treasure orders here? Don't worry about it. That was I that is very satisfying that Kale's ult just hit five thousand flat. That is really satisfying.
Do you remember anything about this place? Grandma? Oh yeah, no. There was no locking anything. There wasn't locking artifacts and there was no locking weapons. You had to keep track of that shit yourself. It wouldn't if you had a weapon equipped to a character, if you had a weapon or an artifact equipped to a character, you wouldn't like you couldn't accidentally feed it. But if you wanted to keep it, you had to keep track of it. You couldn't just lock it. That would that didn't that wasn't added until I want to say Inazuma. Let me think. I feel like I've been here before. You know, it, it is. It's foul. It's awful. But I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Yeah, the artifacts on the floor, too, is my favorite thing. Oh, I, I love floor artifacts. And just taking Jean and just, just wiping them. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places to Venti or Jean, yeah. That's part of the reason why I don't do any sort of multiplayer with anybody. Is because I never did it when... I, I think I did... I think the only time I've ever actually played multiplayer was for Unreconciled Stars. I have never played multiplayer since, partly because of the whole, you know, Gene could just yeet your artifact. Wait a second. If I remember about correctly... I believe I brought... Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. Go on, take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. Oh, thank you. Then Paimon will help herself. They are for sure you. Paimon, you ain't growing any more than you, uh, like, than what you're at. <laughs> you ain't growing a bit, bitch. Sometimes I do miss playing with Kazoo. Yeah. Like, I, I I love the like I love this team. This team is super fun. I like the I like not playing with Kazoo anymore just because it like it feels like there's so much more variety in the game when you're not stuck with you know that character. But sometimes I do miss exploring with him because he makes stuff like this so easy. How tall is the sustainer? Uh, you could you could probably take pixel measurements if you if you like make the assumption that like I don't need that. Um, if you make the assumption that like ether and lumine are like five ten in that kind of area. Whoa. Oh yes, network, please, thank you. Um, yeah, if you, if you make like reasonable assumptions to how tall like Ether and Lumine are, you could probably make like pixel measurements huh? to exactly how tall she is, but. Funny words, American man. Oh, Did yeah. Did you remember something, Granny? Yeah. I... I remember. Show you. This is where your father was born. It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. <laughs> the lightning strike over there? I, okay. So, wasn't this supposed to be during a drought? I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. 
Zen. Oath? Did you do something wrong? Excuse me? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just what did I do? Okay. I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person. You're too sweet, Shuyu. All right. Let's not stand around. Okay. If one recalls correctly, sure. the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Climb on, I shall carry you to the top. <gasps> no, she is carrying her. Oh, That's hilarious. Such lightness of weight. All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. <laughs> you and I, are you a war criminal? Tell me. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind. To free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Why is my network not doing great? Stop it. <laughs> it says it's sending 7,000 kilobits a second. I should be enough. You should be not doing that. It's doing fine there. Odd. Okay. Well. Mm. There's a chest? There is a chest. How the fuck is there a chest? <laughs> I didn't, even, I didn't even clock it. Like, what? Oh, what a cute treasure coffin. Well. Sure. What? What is my exploration in this area even? 81. Okay, so that's not like, that's not like hugely impressive. Find a random common chest next to the Thousand Winds Temple recently. Bro, love that. Cute treasure coffin. I love Hu Tao lines. Hu Tao is still my favorite. Farina and Hu Tao are totally oofies. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Is this is it literally just like oh I I I once I I once camped here. I don't have her. I yeah, she's so good. Her her vo her voice lines are are great. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny Wendy? Let me see. How strange. Have I lived here before? <laughs> Take it easy. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. 
But here... I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Yeah, no, Venti's, um, Venti, that, that Venti line is my favorite chess line. It is so good. The, thank Barbados. Wait a minute. <laughs> did the stories get it wrong then? I can't expect them to get everything right. Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. Thank you. If all... Huh? That way... What's that mountain? That's Outsong. Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Outsong? Looks like we've come full circle. Hell yeah. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. I like Ayato's reminds me of that I'm broke. I well, okay. It's also really funny because we're not. Like I got my pockets are fat. <laughs> Mount Outsong, I. What am I really? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you. Is she an adeptus? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? I... I, I think... Oh, hi, Storm Terror. Um... I forgot that that's where that is. I, I feel like it's less... It's less... He's... He's less that we're poor, it's just we're, we're humble. We're humble. We've got all the money in the world, but we, 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 lead a, we lead a very humble lifestyle. My head. It feels all heavy and dizzy. I, just, what is wrong with me? Cloud, Miss Yun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not. All will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. Shao's line is my any Shao line is my favorite line. Number one Shao fan. You've got some competition there, Ikario. Like how you've chosen like a very <laughs> twelve point four thousand tweets about Penaconi. I should probably before I do anything else, I'm gonna mute Penaconi. Hold on. Filters, muted notification, uh, no. Uh, I think it's privacy. Mute and block. Muted words. Add. Panacone. Duration. Seven days. Save. Um, let's also do, what are other terms I should mute? Chat, what are, what are some, what are some terms I should mute? Uh, not notifications, cutscene, adventure, and yep. Um... Leaks, I should do that. Um, do leaks, uh, leaks, plural. Let's do two point oh. Let's do Firefly, yeah. Which, as much as that pains me, because I, I just want to... I just want to do... I want to see so much Fire. I want to see ha, Firefly news. I'm not going to do Hotel, because that's going to mute Hasbin Hotel stuff, and I want to see that. Um, 
Spoilers. Okay. Firefly, please don't die. <laughs> I'm begging you. Oh, I want to see so much. I want to see more Firefly. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides Duke Mount Inferno, Elsa. that's true. Um, Duke Inferno is a pretty good one. Duke Inferno, Reverie I'll do. Reverie. Okay. I think that's a pretty solid set of mutes. Although, I, part of me is very tempted to just straight up just like ballistic, just like full nuclear mute. Um, just all of Honkai Star Rail stuff. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Okay. Lovely dreams. Boop, 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 boop. She's so pretty, isn't she? I love Farina. My legend gang. I think, I think I'll be set with the ones that I have. Especially combined with, um... Especially combined with just the straight-up leaks mute and not using Twitter for the next couple of days, we'll be fine. First post in the Penicone tag, a cutscene leak. Yeah. Love that shit. Cloud chasing. Some, some good old cloud chasing. From people. Here, this is it. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Uh Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. So, mechanism that suspends you in sleep? It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax, and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Okay. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid- Oh, what a cool gadget! We could have come to Mount Atsong right off the bat and saved time- How preposterous. <laughs> Lots of floating. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Because, like, I also have to, like, I, I have to be careful everywhere. It, it's scary. And like, I'm, what's so weird is like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going like, I'm much more dedicated to stay spoiler free for Pentecone than I have been for anything in a really long time. Um, which is saying a lot. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just because it's the first time we've gone, this is the, this is the first um, world new world update for Genshin that we've gotten just ever so yeah I don't know Paimon thinks she gets it now uh, <laughs> as previously mentioned a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism one secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power Oh. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. Ah! 
And you, Yuandai, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. <laughs> Sleep. Sleepy. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past. The me Called it. from not that long ago. We should have never. Why should you not know her though? Which is interesting. That reaction is like, uh, 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 guys, help, help. A bird just talked to me. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I... Granny! Granny, are you okay? Cloud retainer. Hmm... Hmm. Your memories have returned. So she knew. She knew the entire time. She, Cloud Retainer knew the entire fucking time. What a what a sneaky, lying little bitch. Wait, okay. Did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm... Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. <laughs> Our all-knowing queen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. Oh, a big fuck-off bird. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered... I must face my memories head on. No wonder. Oh, true. She's a bird. Holy shit. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Shuyu, everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. <laughs> Granny is currently going through an emotional roller coaster, dearie. Don't mind me. Please, Granny. <laughs> I'm having yourself. an emotional revelation what right now. In the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. She is the original sinner. She is the reason humanity now. <laughs> is this the sin that you mentioned in Joyun Karst? What happened? 
I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. The center is purple, granny wears purple coincidence? I think not! Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings. That's and interesting. Time gradually passed us by. You become an adeptus via training? Until that fateful day 50 years ago. That's neat. Oh, she, <laughs> she fucked a ago? human. That's the sin. Is interracial. <laughs> Interspecies relations. Oh my god. That's that's the sin. It was interspecies relations. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. Ooh. From them, I learned how she had <laughs> saved old boy, people from earlier. a similar yeah, true. crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel It's the interesting land, though that becoming an adeptus is like a thing. Wherever I went. An adeptus is something that you become. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. <laughs> I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human Beast, nor adeptus. Oh no. So that was the source of your dementia all along. We never turned back into a crane. Was because of Grandpa? Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet... I did not want to leave his side, so I... I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world, such that no one would be able to find me again. So that's why the nameless heroin hit herself but that away. That was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and Wow, confused, surprise! The thing that no Cloud and Terror told you would happen, awake. happened. It's crazy. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. 
All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at one time. Godly is gorgeous. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea <laughs> pills concocted using That's, the blood okay, of an she adeptus. Did that. No, She's like, mm. it couldn't be. She supported Master. the decision. Don't tell me. Back then. Why did they? Do, why did they give him a fucking actually... mustache then? <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <sighs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. Of course she did, Once you absolute doink. When you were but a fledgling, you possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own. No matter what form they may take. Mama bird. Wait, 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 wait. Paimon's confused. Mama bird. So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Yeah, I'm more yapping time. Let's go. Cloud Retainer, yapping time. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Here we go, Genshin. Come on. Come on, bud. Here we go. There it is. Oh, it's a domain. I was expecting a cutscene. Okay, yeah, uh, how does... was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. I like how, <laughs> I like how the ocean it is still here. <laughs> like, never mind the fact that we're, you know, in a memory. Well, that's cool. Never mind the fact that we're at a memory now. It's you know, we've got we've got a we've still got our pet or uh, truth. Thing. One had more than a few misgivings pet. about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. <gasps> but soon, one came to appreciate the devotion <laughs> he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies, glaring though they may have been. <laughs> Wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many He was still shit at his job. You have to remember, Hikaru, that this is, this is Shenyun talking? Medicine. This is Cloud Retainer talking. Though imperfect, it managed to So he could have been the best fucking sigil wielder illness. ever? As for how to deliver the medicine, it's the after much mustache. contemplation, the one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter <laughs> one's features and select the appropriate attire. Hi, Luna. Only after meticulous scrutiny, <laughs> oh, it's a good to Fu Manchu too. Shoe it's just a full-on fucking Fu Manchu. You were most ignorant of one's true identity. Bruh. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. Bruh, that's hilarious. This is the fucking... <laughs> Hi, Luna. <laughs> Welcome in. Goofy as fuck, yes. Oh my god, this is good. 
Oh shit, okay. <laughs> this is literally, this is like about like the same as putting on those like those gag glasses with like the nose on it. Like that's, that's about what this disguise is. <laughs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise? Or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? I mean, like, come on, exactly! You and I would have definitely recognized her. I, I don't think so, you know. The hat was enough, to be completely honest. And even if she did recognize her in the moment, she would have completely forgotten. Okay, how does it work? Hold on. Oh, got it. Okay, you click. She do be glowing. Nope, that's not how that works. It's a three jump thing? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, E three times. Yeah. Two, three. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another oh. matter. If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Interesting. Skyward, scatter. Stray clouds converge. Skyward. Okay. Oh, she, okay. So she gives you zero cooldown. Shall let's go. Don't do that. That's rude. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity. Got blasted by lightning. <laughs> yeah. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. That's that that is that is bloated as shit. Holy fuck. It gives you heals and damn, okay. Sad godly remains, in turn. We're likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Juan was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Some of the gods were likely quote unquote shattered. The more I play this game, the more it's just the fucking Cosmere. <laughs> it's just the Cosmere. But like, that's that's interesting. In the end, one was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. You have two daughters. Don't tell me you don't understand the joy. I mean, come on, shut up, Shedian. Especially since Shenyun stacks fanfare so quickly with Freena. Oh yeah, okay. Farzan in a, in, a, in a meta build? Holy shit. Now yeah, this music is very pretty. Complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, 
one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. Uh, bruh. Challenge Shiny basically instantly sacks fanfare. That, yeah, true. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Uh, bruh. <laughs> Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry refusing to get on one's back so she took care of the grandkids oh the great grandkids actually when one asked you why <laughs> the niece apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe one had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance you became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. Oh my god. <laughs> it bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Dude, Cloud Retainer in in crane form, going full like makeup just to appease a child is so good. She is such a mom. She is such a mom. Now all has been revealed. <sighs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. So she did. Okay, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Oh, so she left it. Okay, that, that's been her entire, like, her entire purpose from the beginning. Interesting. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Well, it's not a game, it's a, um, so everything by the author Brandon Sanderson, um, is in the, u the unified universe called the Cosmere, C-O-S-M-E-R-E, -E. um, a lot of the terminology that's used in the English localization of Genshin is very similar to a lot of the mechanisms and terminologies used in the Cosmere. So, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, pretty much practically any, anything written by Brandon Sanderson exists in, in that universe of the Cosmere. So, like, the shattering of, of gods and... You know, all that kind of stuff, and like how gnosis work, and you know, that stuff. All this is telling me that that way is a big fan. I wouldn't be surprised to be completely honest. Um, straight up, well, because like, I what's so interesting about the Cosmere is it's one of the most like cohesive universes, like fictional universes I have ever come across. Um, so like. Yeah, everything will just tie back together. And being a fan of the Cosmere is kind of wild because there's just so fucking much that always connects. It is crazy. Um, yeah, like it might seem like when you're just getting into it that it's like, oh, this is neat and this is like its own world and like this is in its own world. But the, the more you read, pretty much once you read Secret History, it just all together like secret history and stormlight archives just together just like everything is this is one story memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them would you not agree even if the process was painful and arduous to experience <sighs> have you any further inquiries master i i must ask if you found me all those years ago 
Why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice. Nothing more. I love her. She's such a mothering it mother. It is time for one's progeny to leave the nest. It is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. It's so pretty. Liyue is so good. I don't understand how people don't think Liyue is not gorgeous. Look at this shit. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. She was talking about moving to Liyue, though, to the harbor. So is, is the abode changing? Is it becoming a, a gorgeous garden atop a mountain to, like, an apartment? <laughs> is she moving home to, like, a, a small little apartment above, like, a restaurant in the harbor? Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. <sighs> One expects you, too, have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? <laughs> I will say Sanderson's novels are very, very, very long. They are so fucking long. Uh, like, I have one of the shorter ones with me right here. Uh, Warbreaker. It's one of his shorter books. It is 600 pages. Uh, <laughs> Actually, no, I do have Edge Dancer. What's really funny is Edge Dancer is considered a novella, and it is 265 pages. Uh, <laughs> for a novella, that is usually considered just a novel, but no, for Brandon, it's... It's a novella. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really funny. Um, he has a very good writing, though. Um, he has very good... Yeah, no, Warbreaker is, is very short compared to, um, compared to his larger works. I mean, okay, I will say, um, uh, Mistborn is... Um, Mistborn is pretty short. The, uh, yeah, the audiobooks are really good. I, that's how I listen, or that's how I read most of uh, Sanderson's stuff, is I audiobook a lot of them. Um, that's how I, that's how I get, that's how I've gotten through most of Stormlight Archives. Um, but... Yeah, they're very easy to read. They're very they they will hook you. They're 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 very easy to just burn through. Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, 
What's gonna happen to Grant? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she... She's gotta go back to being a regular crane. Master, you've already... I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. Th <sighs> mm -hmm. Not long. And Granny? Please don't... Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. And now I'm gonna My orphan you. My regret is having to leave you behind. I need to finish Warbreaker. How do I look at it? Before we get into Warbreaker. I got two, almost 300 pages in. It's getting slow in the middle. What's so interesting about Warbreaker, though, is it kind of, it it's kind of like at the center of, like, Warbreaker is kind of at the center of everything in this really strange way, because, like, all of the, all of the care like, Warbreaker's world is one of the only ones where the people will, are freely able to move between the other worlds in the Cosmere. And so it, it just everything just kind of collapses in on Warbreaker, which is so weird. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. No. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Oh, Ether's like... Oh, okay. It's more fan painful to play as the man. I mean, it doesn't matter. Who the, it doesn't really matter. I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. Aww. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. Hi, Reverie. I mean, it's just a blue earring. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you. For everything. Oh, okay, it's just now, you know. Usually when I think, like, it won't take long, or it won't be long, I, I'm thinking, like, a couple weeks, maybe. Maybe a few days. No, nah, just, like, probably, like, five minutes. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have socks on. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't do an Ayaka. Please. Shoo you. Okay, she does. Oh, she has shoes on. I can't tell if there are socks under those. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. I read ahead of the voice line, and I had to double take on what that word was. <laughs> I had to double take on what that word was. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I have been streaming for four hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I had to double take on that one. There are two letters missing from that. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. I don't trust you putting me to sleep. I don't, I don't trust you. Don't tell me this is what I think it is. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Don't tell me it is, uh, this is gonna be... Oh, fuck. we would see each other again that our days of separation would finally end and all my troubles would be behind me Shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. as one may be. Words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. <laughs> After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Also just agonizing, but also adorable. I got free run flashbacks with the head pats. I need to watch the new episodes. Anyways, I that was adorable. I love Shenyun. I love Shenyun now. 
She's just the most, she's just the hug hurt me. Yeah, I know. That was, oh fuck, that was rough. But like, that was, oh. What was also really interesting about that was the, like, was the ether, like, ac ether actually talking. It wasn't a bad dream, it was just, you know, and then, you know, Shania took, it takes over, but yeah, he was, he was talking. So, like, it's now, there's a whole, like, yeah, it's really interesting that Paimon is, like, is still asleep. He's, you know. He's given he's given speaking rights. You know, Zach Aguilar gets a paycheck. <laughs> like... That was really good. I like that. It's stuff like that that makes me think that we're going to get something soon. Adorably sad, yeah. It, it, it's stuff like that that makes me think that maybe, and maybe this is entirely copium, but it, it's stuff like that that makes me think that maybe we'll actually get some, we'll get some actual Lumine here in a bit. Maybe sometime in, either with the ne next Dainsliff quest, or, if we get um, next Dane's Lift Quest or sometime in, in, in Natland maybe, soon we're going to get, I'm hoping at least that we're going to get some more Lumine. Mooncarver becoming playable. Zach would be swimming in money. I always forget that Mooncarver was voiced by Zach. Yeah. Looking through Paimon's eyes is very weird. <laughs> oh. Oh, Paimon wasn't talking to you. Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. M Madam Adeptus? Oh, shoot you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday. Time on auto floats, yeah. I don't feel so sad anymore. What if she's not? Like... I still want to know what her, like... Is floating, like, an instinct for her and she just does it? Madam Adeptus? Could I, uh, ask you something? Would you... Take me in as a disciple? It's very weird not seeing Paimon floating, but also the the weird thing about the weird thing about it is like I really hope never that we never have to see Paimon walking because she does have legs. So that does apply to pa that she does know how to walk or she she has the capability of learning how to walk. I but I don't want to oh. yeah. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. This is Shenyan, uh, story quest. But without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot I could become a cool adeptus like you and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that Yuan Dai's blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean... Master. Uh, Chu Yu, are you sure about this? <laughs> Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. Okay. Another daughter for Shenyun? Hell yes! 
This woman be collecting daughters. If you join them, you'll never enjoy one minute restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. Pama, don't scare her. Oh, how utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Yeah, Paimon. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Hell Harbor. Hell yeah, let's go. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Whoa, you're leaving Mel Outsong? So is that why you took on this human form? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. If you need a little bit of funds, I got you. Just like take a take a Why handful of mora all out so of me. Silent. We're surprised. That's all. We're just surprised that you're doing this. Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. You're just so old so school. does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? She's richer than you? Hey, no. She was asking Madam Ping how much Mora it would take to live a comfortable life in Liyue Harbor, which she wouldn't be asking if she had more money than me, which she doesn't. Because I have, like, so much. <laughs> hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Wait until she sells her inventions? True. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. I, although I would think, I would imagine, um, I would imagine Cloud Retainer to be the kind of, like, she wouldn't understand how valuable her, her inventions truly are for, like, the first couple. And so she would, like, super undersell them and was like, this isn't enough. So she would, like, <laughs> that's what I imagine at least. She would, like, super undersell her inventions for a while. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. Oh, there you go. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Seems like you've really thought of everything. <laughs> then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense somnia mechanism as a souvenir? Sell it, Anytime bitch! You, you need the money! you feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. True. Yeah, she does have more money now than Zhong Li does. Or at least... At least she won't f intentionally forget the money. Ugh. It's really funny how this game likes to play with the whole... 
um ancient beings like figuring out like a monetary customs of humanity because like you've got You've got Zhongli, like Venti is, has been living among humanity for a while. He's got that shit figured out. But like you've got Shen Yin, who's like, I, how much does it take to live in Liyue Harbor? And then there's Zhongli, who has no idea how money works because he always just made it. And then there's there's Nahida. I mean, I, I don't know if Nahida is, has like troubles because she just washed humanity for a while. But then there's Farina, who's like, being sugar daddy by Nivalette, pretty much. <laughs> awesome! Thanks, Cloud Return! Hey, didn't we promise Xingqiu that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. Sure, why not? As a pension, exactly! She's being sugar daddy by Nivalette! Beyond human, be beyond human beings versus capitalism, exactly. It's called a pension, which can also be described as being sugar daddy by Nouvellet. Nouvellet said himself that he, he, he makes sure that she will never live. She will always live in comfort. He will make sure that she always lives in comfort. Or however he phrased it. 500 years on the job without breaks means a huge premium, yeah. So she practically never has to think about money. Lamoa. We meet again, dear. Great! So the stories didn't get it right after all. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a heavy burden that most could not hope to understand. Macaroni is an expensive meal to make. True. Although you don't know what sauces she's getting. <laughs> she could be like, she could be like paying like incredible amounts for real wasabi and like just obscene amounts of money for real wasabi or something stupid like that. Thank goodness for the help of that Adeptus. At least she was able to recover what she had lost. She needs to learn how to cook more foods. Hey, to be fair, I've gotten this far with pretty much only being able to like cook rice and eggs. Or like, I, I, I know how to make a various combination of rice and eggs. I've gotten this far, so you know, that's, that's good. I imagine her coming to Leo for a lantern night. I, I honestly think that's exactly what's going to happen. I mean, I, I wouldn't say her funeral. It would be Fosalors' funeral. Like she's be cutting on the sweets. Can't imagine Freena to not be someone to spend a lot. Yeah, she's a very meager person. Yeah, she, she's a very, she's very minimalist. She like she she spend mo she spends money on like sauce and macaroni and like that's it and like rent. <laughs> that's like all she spends money on. It just sounds like me. I'm just on it. Okay. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this up. Thank you, Xingqiu. <gasps> she better become a- I do not think she would want to do that, to be completely honest. I feel like that is, a, that is something that she is not about to do. And again, like, 
she would reason she would you know probably become the hydro archon but the hydro archon doesn't exist anymore like nobody's going to become the hydro archon because the the throne has been shattered there is no such thing as hydro archon anymore I don't know. I think she enjoys her humanity and like she wants to I think she's good with her humanity because she doesn't want to you know relive anything. I, I, right now all we know is like she's she's contempt being a fucking she's be, contempt being a contract director. Like <laughs> That's what we know, is that she's she's huh? she's fine being a director. Huh? Huh? That's kind of antecedent to newbie showing the archons, because he's in charge now. What do you mean? The Archons literally just colonized his home. <laughs> I would be mad. I would be pretty mad too at my fucking colonizers. Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. To be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Miss Shenyan, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Here's the question. Did they ever mention why Nivi was born as a human? I... Uh... I feel like they did. I feel like there is an explanation for why he is human. It has something to do with the dragons not having authority, I think. Something along those lines. There's that, though, who are the actual colonizers? I... yes, everybody. The Archons were complicit. I think Nuvalet finds it offensive that Zhongli is adeptus form as a dragon. I, it's a different kind of dragon. Like, so what's interesting is myth, like, mythologically, dragon refers to a lot of different things across different cultures that are all, like, together, not the same thing, not even close. So, like... You know, Zhong Li's, like, Rex Lapis's vessel, like, Adeptus vessel, is the Chinese understanding of a dragon. Long. But then, like, the... From what we've seen, the Vishaps in those dragons are very... Are much more, like, lizard. Like, the more Western understanding of a dragon. But even then, it's not quite... It's much more, like, bestial. And, and yeah, just just a little bit more Western in the understanding of dragon. But like, aside from having scales and fly, there isn't very many similarities between like the Chinese understanding of dragon and 
Vishaps in like the Western understanding of a dragon. So in my head, it feels like they're different character. They're they're different creatures that just being the things that they are, are just you know all dragons because dragon is just such a vague term in mythology. So yeah, several hundred years. Indeed. <clears throat> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. <laughs> you know, they're heirlooms. Passed down through generations, as heirlooms are. <laughs> yep, yep, they've definitely been around. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even... <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take the- Whoa, 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 please don't go! I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait for a <sighs> moment- Li, Zhong Li appearance, Zhong Li appearance, Zhong Li appearance, Zhong Li appearance. Shortly. Please, Zhong Li appearance. Can we get a Zhong Li? Please. An expert, you say? <sighs> very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have caused the statue of the omnipresent goddess of Osteroth, I've never been me. super. I've never been super sold on that theory. I will admit, I don't have a counter theory on that. But, you know, I've never, I've never been too, like. I, yeah, I've I've never been very sold on the Istaroth side of things. Um, yeah, I don't know. Master, oh, it's you two again. <gasps> oh, Shuyu has a new outfit. That's cute. Shuyu, you got a new outfit. It looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? Of course she does. <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fret not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything is kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um, not look yet, Master? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> It appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Aww. Now, this expert you mentioned. Adorable. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is! Here, allow me to make some introductions. I got it! This is Mr. Zhang Li. A well-respected <laughs> consultant at Wangshong Funeral Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Especially since they've never been addressed after Inazuma. Yeah, I don't... I feel like Inazuma is just kind of, like, not... I, I swear, Inazuma isn't canonical anymore. It is just so weird. And they just, everyone pretends it just didn't happen. It's so weird. Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Poor man shouts. Yeah, this is this is he's gonna be very confused for this entire conversation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, it's it's worse for Jogli and Shen Shen Yun just because they have to just pretend that they don't know each other. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Miss Shenyun. It has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. <clears throat> In indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. 
The experience has left me with such insight. Huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? I love how it's such antiquated speech. It is, they are, they are so like formal with each other. Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields and off-celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this opportunity. Venti actually more OP than... No, no, yeah, Venti is bust. Like, Venti is incredibly powerful. I still... Don't... Yeah. He's... He's... Yeah. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why? You flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self-effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Shangli. Not at all. Um, while I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask, you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? I mean, you never know. <laughs> huh. A preposterous accusation. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Say no more. Let us depart. <laughs> uh, I jest, I jest. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. <laughs> These old fossils, they're so, it's so stupid. Oh my god. Damn. I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. Still don't know who's older, Zhongli or Aether. Yeah, I would probably see eat there. Although we don't, we don't know how either of them are. So, who fucking knows? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. It's we don't know where they came from. We still have no fucking idea where Lumina and Ether came from. So. Yeah, and it really doesn't count because Ether's only been in this world for what, like a couple years? Or <laughs> give or take the Conria time. The same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind. I er All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, then in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. <sighs> Why does he snore snore? My friends. Have you been doing well? The box to the left of Shinyan's house where Shuyu's stuff is. We've okay. been great! How about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant! My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shinyan, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? I must say, 
The name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for? Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, that is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. These fossils need to stop saying things like fiduciary. English is not my first language. I I didn't even know the fucking word fiduciary existed. So don't worry. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental on us. <laughs> you make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? Hmm? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so... Logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Tried my hand at that dish? That sounds like he was not very successful. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. <laughs> I love the idea of Shen Yun just not having a very good memory. <laughs> Hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab row tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. One has already passed word to Shen Hun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? <laughs> it should be a most splendid occasion. Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... Hmm, how to explain this to the child? <laughs> How, how should one explain this to the child? Uh, a humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral There you go. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. I still can't get over the fact that whenever Zhang Li is on the clock at the, at the funeral parlor, Hu Tao is more powerful than God. I, mm. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Death is more powerful than God indeed. Exactly. Hey, why are you all walking so fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait up! Deal with it, bitch. That was fun. That was cute. I like that. Okay. Lore. Unsigned letter. What seems like a book of accounts, a letter can be found inside. Xiaoyu, my dear daughter, by the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go on a long journey. Your granny may get a little forgetful sometimes, so try not 
tr so try to jot down little reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and Daddy are counting on you to take care of Granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why Mommy and Daddy have, have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they just have to do. Your Mommy and Daddy are no different. Did you know Daddy was actually awfully sick as a child? How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel Daddy's pulse. It was that weak. But Daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times where Daddy thought he might not make it. In the end, though, Daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing, if you think about it. Maybe Daddy's just really lucky. Or, who knows, maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out for him. Either way, Daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. You know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told Daddy that this mission would be super dangerous, but both, mo both Mommy and Daddy decided to sign up. You'll have grown quite a bit taller by the next time Mommy and Daddy see you again. Maybe you'll be so big that Mommy and Daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code. Oh fuck, I swear if you mention it next. Um, do you still remember that one phrase Daddy taught you when you were little? That can be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You remember it, don't you? While the Millilis stands guard, evil shall never prevail. Huh. Neat. I was expecting a little bit more than that with how you phrased that talent, but okay, sure. That's a lot of implications. Not really. That her parents had died. I mean, they probably could have. But. It's vague. Because you have to think, that letter was sent to Shuyu before before they left, right? So there is a very good chance that they are they did die. It's just she keeps that around for sentimental purposes. But they also could still be around. I guess she lied about it. Not necessarily. Being too popular can be such a hassle. She could have oh assumed. No, the people would adore me so much. She could have uh, just been assuming that she died or that they died because she hasn't seen them in a while. She could have. <laughs> they could have died, and she got confirmation from somewhere. Who fucking knows, right? It like. I don't know. But also, she's a kid, so like saying, "Oh yeah, my parents died." That's just that. You, yeah, I don't know. I don't find there being very many implications, and even if there were implications, Boring. like, what would they be? Like, what would the implications be? I don't know. I I don't I don't find that very interesting, but it's neat. Yes. We'll know if she gets an- no, cryovision. Cryovision. She'll get a cryovision. I never realized that Kali's thing jingles. Huh. Kali- Kali's vision jingles. I guess it's just a loop. It might be, who knows. Weirdest stuff in weirdest places. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't agree. I don't disagree that it, it might be hiding stuff, but or it might be like a like foreshadowing future plot points. But it, there isn't like anything to work with. There is pretty much what I'm saying. Um, I will. OK, so I have been streaming for almost five hours. So I am going to actually log off for the night. Um, I need to go get food and shit. 
so that'll that'll I'll call it a stream. Um, but I definitely will. I I will play it when I can. But that's it for me. Um, yeah, I've also seen some of the screenshots about, there is the super interesting thing about how Paimon always gets super, like, super uneasy whenever Zelis are mentioned. So, I do know about that, but, yeah. Um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, next up is Panacone. Next stop is Panacone. I'm so ready for that. I am so excited. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys Wednesday or Thursday, whichever, for a Panacone stream. So yeah, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, y'all.